Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games on Yay. the 8-bit machine right here. On my pal machine. Uh, but oh my god, we got some news today. Um, we're going to be... But before we get to the news, we're going to be... Uh, the n games we're going to be playing today are Doom... Uh, yep. That's been recently updated. Uh, Hop Man by Inufuto, a uh, Japanese game developer who does cross-platform development. Mm -hmm. This is his newest game, a platformer. Um, and Oxygen B. Thank you for subscribing, Crew Neck Lion. That's a new name to me. Yep. Thank you for watching and enjoying what we do. Um, Oxygen BE, a uh, shooter. Um, from 2020. Nice. That I don't know why we haven't played. You like shooters. I love shooters. Yeah. Sometimes um, you find out about things late, so it's all good. And they're still good. Yeah. yeah. News? What happened? Oh, I wonder. <laughs> um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Scrolling down beside Tanya, oh, and I'll oh. include all the people who just subscribed at the top of the show. Oh, Very my nice. Lots of su subscribers. Al, oh, yeah. Al Nefer, I'm Scar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari 8, Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Buffalo Pinball, Chastel Mal, Charles Will, and Chitla, like Colonel Lama, uh, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dan, if you see Dr. Mukaz, Glenn Mann, Gray Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vader, Gavelt for Lambda Express, Long TTZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Hotel, Mick MK Smith, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Mini, Nostalgia, Koag, Aaron Schwitz, Raymond CR, 70 Rendered, Ghost, Bentless, VG, Rodcaster, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Siceware, Teleprompter, Tested and Rocking, Tiki Dan K, T Post, Trek MD, Vexor X, and X, Ken X, and also. The people who subscribe before the show, Crewneck Lion just subscribed, Miss Command, Carl G, Atari 1974, S. Ramirez. Thank you so much Yay! for supporting the show <clears throat> and keeping these kittens happy. Oh, they're so happy. They're so happy. Look on at the them floor. lying in parallel. And also, I um, the cat cam was at 720p, mm. and I bumped it up to 1080p. Oh, so it's. Uh, High definition cats, and I can see why I kept it at 720. Is that is there is it causing it's, troubles? It's, oh no, it's not bad. Just okay. had a little spike there. No, it's okay. okay. We'll see. Um, and if you want to support the it's show and time. subscribe, yum. Yum, uh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> feed, feed the cats treats. Uh, you can uh, subscribe with Amazon Prime. It's free if you have that, or um, just pay if you don't have it. Here, you love those. Swap. I'll take the bells. Swap. Thank you, Carl G. The cats months. are very excited. 50 months. Yeah. I'm... So old, that's Ramirez. Yeah, so and speaking of cat cam, we're going to get <laughs> high resolution cats now. Oh, you can see all their flaws. There you go. All their little Ooh, cat that's wrinkles. Much better looking. Look how sharp that little oh, black my sprite cat is. So let's reset the points. Zero, zero. Excellent. There we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Want to shut the door? So Atari doesn't run out because he likes to take away the treats. Uh-oh. 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 That was a Pre free one. Pre-fed. Uh-oh. Because Sprite dives for the treats. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cats meowing in HD. Ready, meowers? Go. Oh, oh, double ring. They're both on at Sprite and Atari. Tied for one. One. One all. I think you need to adjust game. it a little. Adjust what? The cat can. No. Oh, Sprite. Can't see everything. You can't see... um. Atari very well in the. You can see his paw. Can you? Can you? See the okay. Ball. It's right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, and two for Atari, three for Sprite. Oh, uh, and Atari's doing well today. He's tied it up. Sprite's a little confused, looking at Tanya's hands. Oh, gets four points. He's ahead now. He's maintaining his lead. Oh, Atari misses the bell. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Oh, they're both missing. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Come Soft on, guys. touch. Using soft touch. Smack it. Got to make it ring. Smack it. Oh, oh. Sprite gives some very muted rings. S smack Closed it, Closed hi-hat type of rings. There oh, we go. Oh, good kitty. Tari brings it up to oh four goodness. or five. Very slow game. These cats are not on the ball today. Oh, Sprite's just stepping all over the place. Going for Atari's bell. Oh, my God. Oh, there, oh, there we, we go. go. Sprite is now oh, two points each. ahead. There we oh, go. Atari brings it up again. Still... Sprite is quite a bit ahead. He's still yeah. a full treat ahead. Oh. oh, now he's bringing it up to two treats ahead. Ding. Come on, pay attention, Atari. You're not hitting the You're bell. You're not hitting the bell. you got to make it ring. 
Oh, Sprite is lost. Okay, Atari, his. you can get back. Get it. Oh, oh, don't tip it over. Come, come, come on. Come oh, on I heard that. He hit it. He I, hit I it. don't think that counts. Hit okay. it. There, there we you go. go. Good kitty. Oh, that Sprite is given up on his treat. Has he? No. He's gone. Did he eat it? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Eight six for Sprite. Oh. Oh seven. Eight seven for Sprite now. I don't think Atari has a chance, but if he keeps on it. Oh no! It's game point for Sprite. It is nine Atari, seven. Come on, Atari. Get the bell. Get the bell. You can do it. One more treat. Oh, oh, Come on. A little harder. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's game no. point ten seven. Oh no. Final score. Here we go. Chicken feed for you guys there. Final score. Oh, Sprite just got it. Can I read the keyboard on his 800 XL. Yeah. Can actually, see everything. <laughs> it is now. pretty sharp. I don't know why pretty it wasn't there sharp. before. I don't know. It is now. I think yeah. I was having trouble with like USB connections or something. It was just too much to handle. Yeah. But now it's all better. Well, that was pretty close. That was good. That was yeah, pretty good. Atari got seven. Atari was just not getting that bell he was yeah, all it. over it but he wasn't yeah he wasn't on it he, he to make will a look at me because i have the treats in my hand yeah i get they get distracted and he kind of like looks at me and tries to hit the bell what keeping hit keeping his eyes on me and then he yeah. doesn't hit it he no. just gets so focused, focused on, on where the, the treat is treat instead of the bell yeah okay oh, let's get into cat. oh i have a poll question <laughs> i was usurped by the cats, always. By the treats, always. I'll start the poll. This Most is related. Most important part of the uh, the stream is the cat treats. So. That's yeah. it is. It really <laughs> is. Uh, this is related to the news, yes. of course. The yes. poll question is, what consoleized uh -oh. alternatives mm. to the original hardware do you find acceptable to play on? <laughs> like you would play on this, no complaints. You're fine with it. Um, Not that you would buy them, but you would play on them because you think they're either okay. Either buy, play, okay. use. You don't have to have it. You no. don't have to say, I'm investing money in this. Or you're like, this. I won't touch that. That's gross. Oh, like, okay. So the options are system on a chip, okay. which is like one chip has everything on it. Some things have been released like that. Some of the uh, flashbacks. Uh, software emulation, mm. which is like uh, Retron 77, which okay. you can update the... Um, and, and also the Atari VCS it's software. It's software emulation? Yeah. Okay. Um, FPGA hardware emulation, uh, which is like Mr. Okay. Um, also the um, Phoenix, uh, okay. Collector Vision Phoenix is okay. also um, FPGA. Okay. Uh, there's a couple other, oh, like um, my analog pocket. Is FPGA as well? Okay. No. When I hear FPGA, I think like WPGA, like the women's <laughs> golfing <laughs> professional golfing association. I'm like, is it the females' professional maybe. golfing yeah, association? I'm sure, they play video games. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So that's number three. FPGA. Uh. Four. Any of the above. You're fine. And that, this is this is assuming they're good emulation, not mm. garbage, old, terrible incompatibility, slowness. No, they're they work they work fine. Let's assume they work fine. Um, uh, or five, original hardware only. Your mm -hmm. purest, nothing else will do. Yeah. Why play it on emulation when you've got perfectly good hardware in front of you? <laughs> fair. That's fair. And um, I mean, I, f I don't generally play on anything but original hardware. I do test on emulators, like yeah. software emulators. Um, people walking through yeah um but i don't mind playing those but i don't so i don't know what i would choose mm. so it this is about do you find acceptable and i do find them acceptable so i'm gonna go for four okay um because they're all they're all fine all fine depends how much i care about a specific game yeah, yeah true, true, true. i can see that yeah um so this leads us to the big news today yeah it was <laughs> The chat has already started They're talking about it. a little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They started talking about it as mm -hmm. soon as the stream started. Of mm -hmm. course, it's it's massive news. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Mm, we'll see how massive it is. Okay. Um, so out of the blue, without any warning whatsoever, um, they didn't even really hint at it. Oh, this is not getting my the right correct monitor. One second. There we go. Better. Better. 
Um, Atari releases, or pre-releases, something called the Atari 2600 Plus. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. It's uh, like a four switch. It looks pretty but, good. I but have shrunk to say, a bit. it's pretty cute. It is cute. Yes. It it looks exactly like the like the original four switch, except smaller. Except smaller. And it does light up at the front for the Atari symbol. Oh, that's kind of which cool. is a nice bonus. <laughs> yep. They got the look down. Yep. Yes. Let's let's flip through some pictures. Uh, it comes with this ten games in one. Uh, cartridge okay um, that uses dip switches which is weird and funny and strange but we'll find out why in a bit okay <laughs> um, oh there's a picture of the nice. cartridge again nice and and the uh, and the name on there and the orange around there oh, there's another picture oh, of the cartridge there's the dip more switches. pictures of the cartridge nice. than the actual console uh, mm -hmm. there's the top view which you can see in the back there's a USB C I think, okay. I think it's a USB-C charger. Hard to see. Um, it's got the other two switches, difficulty switches. In the back. Um, in the back. Okay. Oh, what is that? What is that? Good question. NTSC PAL. Maybe. Oh. HDMI oh. in the middle. Oh, HDMI in the middle. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, well, that looks very strange. Yeah. There's the USB-C. The USB-C. There's the HDMI. Uh, PAL NTSC. Maybe. Maybe. Anybody know what that is? I didn't see it in the specs. Maybe uh, if I reread it. There's not a photo it. of the back. No, there isn't. You, they always should have a photo of all the. <laughs> they ports. should, especially always, the ports. People, always. We're, uh, channel two, three. Uh, nope. Uh, it could be 720, 1080. I Maybe. doubt it. Who is a 720 who, who, TV? Do you need it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mm. Not many. And yeah. a lot of 720s accept 1080 and then downscale it, yeah, I think. Gotcha. Where's the RF out? Yeah. Uh, I think you have to get an adapter yeah. down to. HDMI uh, to RF? Uh, no, uh, that would be hard. <laughs> that would be hard. You'd have to do HDMI down to com composite. Okay. Run it through a VCR. Yeah. And even that, you'd have to do it a different way. I feel no. like you should break until how you laughed really hard at a joke on a, a um, animated series we were watching uh, oh, yesterday. Oh, that was funny. Um, and someone made reference. Something fall. Uh, Captain Fall, Captain which is Fall. pretty decent. It's pretty funny. It's pretty well written. Yeah, there's a, a African warlord <laughs> from the Congo. Yeah, who's doing a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, PowerPoint presentation to sell his services of child warriors. Yeah, <laughs> as protective sir. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's um, uh, but. He's fretting over which cables to bring, and his <laughs> his wife is like, "Do you need to bring all these cables?" And he's like, "I don't know what they have on the ship. I don't so, know." So he's bringing um, component to SCART <laughs> adapter. And she says, "Why are you?" No, no, it was it was composite to SCART adapters. Why do you need a composite, composite to SCART adapter? adapter? <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I looked it up, and in the Congo, yeah, they used um, French. Which is CCAM, okay, and which they did use SCART. So someone cables. did 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 their homework, and James burst out laughing. Yes, this <laughs> show is like, okay. super accurate on details. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. Everything they say, I'm like, anyway. whoa. Anyway, yeah. uh, it's uh, it's a cartoon. It's animated. Animated uh, TV show on it's on Netflix. It's but fun. it's quite it's quite funny. It's okay, quite good back if to you this. like that kind of thing. I I apologize, but you just referenced cables. De derailing. Uh, I just, I, I laugh so <laughs> hard when he laughed funny. so hard about a joke about... About SCART about in 2023. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, the price anyway. <laughs> is fine for what you get. Well, we'll find out what you get in a second. It's 129 US. Um, oh, thank you for uh, linking that. Wonderful. I should have. Yeah. Uh, no cartridge left behind. Is that true? Mm. No cartridge left behind. Mm. They may have to change that title. There may be a lot of cartridges left behind, in fact. Uh, enjoy your favorite oh, yeah. Atari 2600 and 7800. That's, That's nice. surprising. Yeah. Um, I think, somebody could correct me, this is the first aftermarket 7800 system that accepts cartridges. Mm. I am pretty sure. Um, on one system, not only does the Atari 2600 Plus pull double duty cartridge duty, Pull double cartridge duty. It also features HDMI and widescreen mode. Don't. Just don't ever do widescreen <laughs> mode. Somebody was discussing that before the show, and it is... It's bad. We will judge you. 
um, jump right in with the included CX, <laughs> CX40 Plus joystick and a 10-in-1 game cartridge featuring blah, 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 blah. Um, so they, they have a new joystick, which is interesting. Here's all their new products that they okay. also released. Uh, CX40 Plus joystick for twenty four ninety nine. Is that in addition to the Atari 20? Or do, you is get that for one. a second one? Okay. You get one, but you can get a second one so because there's two players. So you have to pay for a second one. Fair enough. Um, they also put out a new paddle, which is interesting. That is interesting. $40 for a paddle, and you get a multi-cart with dip switches again. Mm -hmm. We'll find out again. Um, but they also released uh, two of their games on cartridge only, even though it has a box. Uh, I don't know why it has a box in the picture. It shouldn't. Uh, Mr. Run and Jump for cartridge only for mm. half the price. And uh, Berserk for half the price. Oh, and a new uh, schematic t-shirt. I already have one. but um, And joystick and cartridge. I already have that one. Uh, and that one. Mine's a little different. Um, but hey, you can now buy new joysticks. Yeah. It's a cart and box. No manual. Yeah, there's no manual in the picture. If you, if you click into it... Um, it uh, does actually it, does it just say cart only no box does is that what it says or package contents 2600 game cartridge but that could mean no it's manual. still in a box no manual though yeah uh the other one does say it is in a box okay so right. if right. they've got their information correct it is it is cart and box no manual says atari and oh Papa. well you will know yeah <laughs> so there you go there we go cart and box well yeah, excellent then this is just half off it is a different color than the original, I think people said. I will probably order that then <laughs> if there is a box with it. I that's was like, nice. uh, uh, debating, yeah. That's that's cool. That's okay, nice. great. Thanks, Dave. Um, okay, features is what we want to get to. Standard mm. Orange Edition, twenty nine ninety nine. This is the standard edition. Okay. Mm. Uh, is the uh, 2600 Plus is the updated version of the iconic Atari 2600 enhanced in the following ways. Plays both Atari 2600 and 7800 game cartridges. 7800 thing is fascinating. Mm. Really fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, HDMI output makes it easy to connect. Big bonus. Widescreen mode. Get rid of it. <laughs> it's, those, it's those people. You're very judgy on the widescreen oh mode. Oh <laughs> my god. What? It's those... <laughs> People who complain about the black bars around when they watch movies. That's why it, I'm not using up my whole TV. Well, the original film was in, uh, you yeah, know. Some different format. Yeah, yeah, some different format. 2.35 to 1. Don't stretch it, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, enlarged cartridge. But, you know, some people, you know, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Enlarged cartridge socket reduces sticking. That's very cool. Because some cartridges in the 7800 don't fit very well and even 2600 the originals it, you have to jam them in which is good atari logo lights up when being played very cool mm -hmm. system comes with a cx40 plus joystick lovingly recreated to the same specifications as the original 10 in 1 game cartridge featuring a bunch of great bunch of games it is pre-order uh oh just moved uh available for pre-order shipped november 2023 just before the holidays mm. good timing uh, Pre-orders are considered final 30 days after the order date. So even though you don't get it yet, you can't get a refund uh, if you order it. So make sure you want to order. Um, <laughs> it is only for the U.S. right now. Okay. But um, Not Dave, Canada? Uh, Dave said international is coming very soon. Okay. okay. I was listening to it's a... It's still just in pre-order anyway. So it is. Yeah, yeah that's you fine. Can, it's, yeah. it's not limited as far as I know. We do have um, the ability to ship to an American box we if we do. absolutely have to. So, so features a rock chip, yeah. uh, 3128 SOC system on a chip, microprocessor processor with 256 megabytes of DDR3 RAM, eMMC, fixed internal storage, uh, wired CX40 plus joystick. Wired makes me, every time I read that, I'm like, it's wired in? Ah, no. No, it's, it is, it's not wireless. Yeah. With a DB9 connector, so it's the original connectors. Yeah, I saw that on the back. So supposedly you can plug anything into it. And it will work. And it should work. We don't know about oh. compatibility yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, compatible with most 2600 and 7800 cartridges. Good. There 
in lies <laughs> the big question the big question yeah. <laughs> and they did post a compatibility list of yep. what they have tested yes and this is the interesting part there's so, so. much going up in the chat and oh i don't God. think we have any time to a lot of it is jokes people are asking. a lot of it's jokes okay fair um, enough so it's fine i saw the marbled wood grain one so um yeah. so this is their compatibility list um and it's quite thorough yeah very very thorough they have a lot of games on this list uh p for pass U for untested, F for fail. Yeah. So they've tested some. Yeah. They haven't tested others. Looks like there's a fair amount of that have been tested and passed. So that's good. So this is their list. Uh, first off, they start with Atari games. Okay. Lots of U. Lots of U. <laughs> and very strange U's. Um, so. It's quite a. Well, I would lots say there's of a lot of U's. There's quite a, quite a few P's. But there are some gaps, so it right? Stops, yeah. stops here. So they yeah. tested a lot of their own games. Oh, yeah. And Fair there's enough. like mm, six U's in their own games. This one is I'm... baffling. Real Sports Boxing. Yeah. Their own game that they've released is not compatible with their new hardware. Very baffling. But why? Why isn't it compatible? Well, the rest of them are compatible. Yeah, so... but not that one. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Um, so that's an interesting one. I always find it interesting. I like the things that fail. They're more uh, interesting than the things that pass. So. Um, and <laughs> some of the U's are telling why they're not tested. Oh, okay. So what have they you surmised from the U's? Why they have maybe avoided testing them. It's like uh, like burying your head in the sand. But we'll oh. find out in a bit. A little bit more we'll of that. Let's see. Um, and then published by a third party. Lots of lots of P's. Yeah. Lots more use yeah. uh, percentage. Oh, for third party ones. Third yeah. party. Okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> Cat butt to the face. Thank you. This is interesting. This one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre yeah. and F. Sorry. They Somebody at Atari has a quite a rare cartridge mm. of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Plugged it in and it didn't work. Uh, the other thing that's interesting that they didn't have to check supposedly um is pitfall 2 really here's pitfall 2 untested nobody at atari has a pitfall 2 cartridge mm. one of the most popular famous games ever oh no um it's it's funny uh, none of the cassettes um worked for the star pass supercharger not not surprising. i guess not super surprising yeah um but or they're untested. They're not uh, fair. Well, yet. okay, they're untested. Let's I, I leave wonder it at untested. if some are untested because they're still working on some of the software to translate it. Hmm. Well, 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 like they're not saying they're a fail yet because they're trying to work. They're working out some bugs because mm, it's not coming out until November, right? Yep. That, so that's a, that's possibility, a possibility too. Um, Atari seventy eight hundred. Here's a compatibility list. Um, you will notice well, let's just take a look at this so there's a handful of untested one mm -hmm. um but interesting is commando and ball blazer those are very specific games for the 7800 okay that has the pokey chip that so have the pokey chip in it ball blazer is working ball blazer is working so which pokey means chip, yeah they're saying the pokey chip does work ah. or it passes doesn't I don't know what pass means at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Poke Chip doesn't work. They plugged yeah. it in, it turned on. Yeah. Um, but the uh, commando is untested. So let's assume that pass means everything works as expected. Mm. So that means the Poke Chip does work. Yeah. Which is very good for the 7800 compatibility. Good. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Commando is my favorite pokey. Oh, Commando music is so good. I especially like on the C64. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so we've looked at the compatibility. Now let's look at what somebody with some knowledge says about the compatibility. Okay. Thomas Yench. Ah, uh, Thomas. He knows okay. a lot. Um, so... And he's also done analysis on the Retron 77 for compatibility. Gotcha. He does um, comparisons, binary comparisons as well. Mm -hmm. um, he says, I took the time and created a list using the old sizes TXT from Kevtris with some addition fixes by me. There I selected all the games which do not use Atari's bank switching. F8, F6 plus Fatal Run, which is the only 32K game. And then I compared them with Atari's compatibility list. 
<laughs> and here's the result. Unfortunately, the colors are not super great. Oh, they're very light. It's like gray on light, light blue. blue. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Bump and Jump uh, passes, um, even though it's originally an E7, but there's also an F8 version of it, which is a very, very simple bank switching technique. Okay. So all of them are U's. Okay. So um, hard to see the blue. Yeah, but yeah. it is. Uh, except tooth protectors. And he says, sure. I don't know. Um, so they're all used. So except for tooth protectors, which I'm sure is a mistake, none of these games have tested positively. Mm. And allegedly none of them been tested at all and marked fail. And he goes, yeah, right. Mm. Uh, by the way, exactly the same games will not work with the Retron 77. Oh, okay. Was the dumper created by the same people? So it is a possibility that the technology is very similar to the dumper that is for the Retron 77, which fails on a lot of games that are not very, very simple, like 4K bank switching mm. techniques. Mm. Um, oh, another thing that I forgot to mention. Let's go back to the compatibility list. There is a homebrew on the compatibility list. Ooh. One that I've found. Okay. Just one. Just one. Which is, which is interesting. Um... Give, oh. sorry. Yeah, I know which one you mean. Oh, it's at the top, isn't it? Uh, 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 uh top, 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 up, top, up, up. top, top. Oh, like oh, past here. Um, I forgot the name of it. Circus convoy. Oh yes, circus convoy. That top. Of, yeah. yeah, circus convoy. Uh, but it's untested. Mm. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was passed before. I swear that was passed. Okay, untested. It does use a thirty. Uh, 32 times 4K bank switch, switching technique. Okay. Super banking, I okay. think it's called, which it sh might be able to handle. Mm. So anyway, I thought that was positive, but I, it might have been before and they I, changed I, it to you. It's possible. It's been I flipped. I swear I looked at that yeah. before and I anyway. was like, oh, it passed. I thought you pointed that, might... that out to me too. Maybe yeah. you're looking at coconuts. <laughs> I might have been looking at coconuts. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a pro brew, not it a It is a pro brew. Sorry. <laughs> It's not a homebrew at all. Yeah. It's a modern game. Um, okay, so let's... But uh, in Ivory Tower Collection said before the show, he alerted yeah. me, but again, if Dan states that Casey's Gold will work on this, I'm sure they're working to get Circus Convoy too, yeah. working too. Um, and if it's... If it can dump the cartridge... This, this is a cartridge dumper. I am almost positive. So you put the cartridge in and then it's loading Transfers the entire... Transfers it over. The entire... Um, Game, game onto the onto system. the system okay. and it plays it from there it doesn't okay. keep talking to it okay which rules out um a number of homebrews that have arm chips yes. which have to keep constantly talking okay to the to the system okay um and bank switching techniques which it doesn't understand yeah to switch to another bank because it can only read it once yeah so if it doesn't know how to understand the banking yeah and read all the parts of the banking um, then it can't dump it. And it can't dump ARM games because it doesn't have access to the data in the ARM chip. In the ARM chip so it needs that to it use that ARM chip. Constantly not, not talking to it. Not its own it. chip. It has to use that specific As far ARM as chip. I know. Not an yeah. expert. But that's know. that's as far as I know. I don't know. Um, yes. So that's the rundown on that. So yeah. let's go over the... Pr pr it would stop the save to cart for Grizzards as well. Yes, okay. that is correct. Gophers list is an F, but highlighted green, not red. Uh -oh. Yeah, they probably need to yeah. update I'm, It this. might be one that they update Where's continuously, gopher? too. Gopher, gopher, F. F in green. It oh, no. Fa it fails positively. <laughs> yeah, failing yeah. upwards, as they say. That's right. Um, uh, okay. Do they have a date? They don't have a date at the bottom, do they, of when oh, it was last updated? Uh, just just oh, the year. They, yeah. wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. Yeah. Most, most big companies wouldn't put exactly... They wouldn't do... You know, um, yeah. release updates and fixes, bug fixes. Well, yeah, and, and you date everything yeah. that you update. Yeah, that's fine. No, I was just curious. Uh, cool. It's it's interesting. It is interesting. Um, so I want to see the size of it. I would like to see how well, is you it can this kind big? Is of it that big? Get a good sense guess, right here because that's the original. So it kind of looks to me like if you cut normal. off the two switches at either looks end of the six tiny switch. Tiny bit smaller. Yeah. 80%. Okay. Okay. Because it kind of looks like if you cut off, like I'm looking at your six switch there. Yeah. If you cut off the two end switches, that yes. looks like the appropriate length. Yes. Yes. Like you just kind of... Yep. Yeah. 
Um, yes, those are dip switches underside of the cart because it has to dump it all at once. Mm. And there are how many games on that? Ten games? Wasn't it like eight? Ten games. Oh, ten. Okay. So let's say ten for, you know, mm. 40K or something. It just... It's easier for them to just put a bunch of 4K games mm -hmm. and then you flip the switches and it just accesses that one game. And then you flip the switches and accesses that game and dumps it. Mm -hmm. Rather than putting a menu and then like creating a menu and creating a whole new thing. It's just okay. easier to do it. So that's probably why they did it. So uh, let's go over the pros and cons I've thought of okay. for this. I haven't, yeah. The pros. Form factor. It looks great. It looks it looks beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it looks like they did a fantastic job of emulating the look of it. Yep, just like I like the Atari VCS. Yeah. Uh, 800, whatever they call it. Yeah. Um, that looks great as well. Modern yeah. with retro aesthetics. Um, original controller compatibility. Yep. Um, and since it works with a joystick, it should work also with the driving controller because that emulates just... Nice left right up down mm -hmm. things um and it works the paddles yes maybe the new paddles are great yes yeah. that's, that's a good bonus it's neat that they have new ones so yes. if you wanted to play paddle games and could never find them yeah um yeah I'd like hopefully they stand up to abuse yeah uh, un and maybe they the original are a little trooper. smoother who knows yeah, yeah it'd be i'd be curious to try especially those with That'd paddles you know, yeah. some people like don't don't have good paddles and they need to get yeah. good ones. Um, if you like the looks of 2600, you'll like this. Yeah. Um, HDMI out. Yeah. Easy for hooking up. Very, very simple. Yeah. 7800 compatible. That's very interesting. Well, Arena Foot asked a question that I either yeah. they asked before, someone asked before, but yes, what do you do about the second button? You're going to have to go out and buy a 7800 controller or a compatible controller. Or have controller. a 7800 They are not selling 7800 controllers. At least not yet. They're also not selling 7800 games. Yeah. So I'm guessing if they sell a 7800 game, they would probably need yeah. to sell a 7800 controller yeah. unless it's a one button 7800 game. Yeah. Assuming this console can read a seven, well, it should because it they're should. advertising that yeah. seven eight hundred games. I would think yeah. so. Um, so, so cons. we'll have to try it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cons? Well, I'm not buying it. Um, <laughs> cons, and I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> why I'm not buying <laughs> well, it. Yeah. Cons, cartridge incompatibility. Tons of them. Supposedly, a fair number. there's a bunch of U's. And a lot of those U's are going to turn into F's. Well, I think, yeah, you, we need to look at it a little closer to the release date to see yeah. if, They've like updated I said, it. I would not be surprised if there were U's, not because they haven't tested it, but that they think maybe they have a workaround. That's possible, but a cartridge dumper is a cartridge dumper. I that's, don't know. That's hardware. I don't know. I don't know. Um, unless it has all the pins connected and they're working on, yeah, they could be still working on it. So I, I, it's one of those things where it's like next maybe, minutes, cons. yeah, next 15 minutes. Actually, the cons is pretty short because yeah. they're bad cons. So I, I would say you need to look at it a little closer to when yeah, it actually I, releases. We can't but, rule uh, it out. There's just so little information yeah. <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's it's coming out. It's pretty much just what the However, says the on form the page. factors there, which is really Oh, it's cool. gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so cartridge incompatibility. That's yeah. a big one, especially no. with SD multi-carts. Ah, it, it won't use them. Won't work on some of them. Oh, some of them it probably will. Okay. Ivory Tower Collection surmised before the show started in the mm. chat that it probably will work with the Dragonfly cart oh. on the seventy eight hundred. Oh. And any other carts that do preloading onto the cartridge, and then it reads directly from okay. the cartridge, like not menu driven ones. But like with the Dragonfly, you select the game on the cartridge itself on the little LCD. Yeah. Then you say load. It loads it off the SD card onto the cartridge and it acts exactly like a cartridge. Okay. Plugging it into the system. So anything like that should work on this system. Okay. We don't know yet. Okay. Because it hasn't given compatibility charts for okay. multi-carts. Yeah. Um, Neat. And also... Only because there's a direct comparison to something almost exactly like this, mm. which is a Retron 77. Yeah. There's no no SD card slot 
on this mm. to load additional games. Gotcha. Because it is an emulator. It, there's this, it's a software emulator inside. Um, or, you know, system on a chip, which is firmware up, updatable. And I found out about this from, from David, yeah. um, who's in the chat, maybe still. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's right. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, so there's no SD card, but there is on the Retron 77. Um, and on the Retron 77, it also runs Stella. Okay. Which is updatable. Oh, I see. And it can run all the homebrew. Gotcha. I don't know. It's so the downside uh, to this. Yeah. yeah, the downside to this, no SD card slot. Okay. There is a USB. Yes. At the back, USB um, port on the back. Port. And David did a stream today. Okay. Um, David Page did a stream today, and I asked him a number of questions okay. about this system earlier yeah. today. Um and he said that USB-C slot or port is for firmware updates. Okay. So that means it's not just for charging. That means it can talk to the computer. Oh. Um, so okay. there is a possibility that you could do hardware add-ons. Yeah, OTG. Um, so that you can like, an OTG cable is a split cable that goes off one provides two ports one okay. for charging and one for data so you could possibly we don't know if the system can handle it or the operating system or whatever they're running can read from an sd card um, oh, that you could plug off in it. off of a usb if it can do that yeah plug in a usb hub yeah. that also works it's easier than uh yeah uh, it can OTG. also hook to the computer to do former updates yeah so that gives okay. um maybe a possibility that rules out the SD card and opens it up to everything. Okay. If the um, if that's em a... if the emulator is up to date enough yeah. to run all the newest homebrew. Okay. So if they're using something like Stella, but it's a system on a chip, so that's not yeah. the same yeah. as a computer running an emulator. Hmm. We don't know. If it was FPGA, it would be about two hundred dollars, and I would have already put a order for it. Oh, okay. If it was an FPGA system. So what's an FPGA system? A uh, field programmable gate array. Okay. That means you can program it so that it is emulating actual hardware. Oh, I see. Okay. And it's only it is only as good as you program it. It'd be twice as useful. Yeah. Um, of course, it also another addition would be a cart dumper that would, or not even a dumper, a cart cartridge port that's yeah. accessible at all times. That would yeah. be the ultimate system. Yeah. But yeah, an FPGA, I, I own a number of FPGA devices, which okay. are great, but they are, like I said, they're only as good as the person who is making... The software uh, the, updates? Yeah, the software updates, yeah. which are called cores. Yes. And there is a 2600 core okay. on um, my Phoenix. It's, it's up there. Okay. Uh, you guys are like, why is he pointing at the ceiling? Yeah, yeah. As for mirrors, <laughs> the Phoenix is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, has an SD as well. Yeah. Yeah. And also the analog pocket oh, is also an yes, FPGA analog, that's nice. and it has a 2600 core as well analog pocket is there you nice go too. yeah they're both very expensive yes they um are. and they you are. can't buy the phoenix anymore which is unfortunate yeah yeah, yeah the 2600 core is lacking on both of them they're very old cores gotcha so there still is no perfect solution Again, yeah it's only as good as the so software so you can't really compare it to a bad solution let me go and chameleon um, so asked David Page, um, he talked about the USB-C port. Nice. Um, and I also asked him about the similarities between the cartridge dumper on this and the Retron 77 cartridge dumper. Okay. He wasn't aware that they were sourced from the same place. Okay. So they may, they may not be, he's pretty sure it was done in house. It was not sourced outside. outside okay but um it may just be made similarly to the retron 77 yeah. with the same pins yeah just the basic pins to be able to just read off of it and do like quick bank bank switching like a uh, simple 4k bank switching don't know um if they want to do something quality, do it and charge for it. If they want to do something cheap, fine. Don't claim you're all about quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. So what would be the ultimate Atari 2600 slash 7800 
game system, system, modern system, to replace our aging ones that will eventually they just will die. die off. They will die. That is very true. You would need FPGA with 2600 and 7800 cores that are up to date yeah which nothing has so i can't really say there's something out there that, that, that actually does that yeah a fully compatible cart cart reader yeah which does not exist as well <laughs> i mean it exists on here like is this too hard to replicate like a computer talking to all the pins i just don't understand why they can't do that why mm. somebody can't make a cart reader mm. um is maybe not um hdmi out which it does have and a lot of things new things have hdmi which is out. so that's very covered. good because no very one has good. crts anymore so no it's so you really need a good system to display the game yeah if you're yeah. going to run crts yeah. you're already hardcore already and you're running the original yeah. systems yeah, yeah. You have the 26 CRT. original 2600s are built to last they are. oh my god still going um still and supports going. all the original controllers which this yeah. seems to yes yeah which is nice it hasn't ruled out anything like keyboard controllers yes. or second button genesis controllers yeah. but that's to be seen or quad taris we don't know yet yeah. until somebody gets it in their hands and, and they I'm play with it yeah and i'm sure as soon as somebody gets in their hands they're going to run it through the gamut and post yeah. all the lists on on the atari age forums which would be very interesting to see <laughs> that's why wally was playing on an old bombed out looking 2600 the only thing left was 700 years from now and that still works yeah <laughs> Uh, uh, very yeah, true. and very save true. key. Does it work with the save key? Yeah. Are all the pins on the joysticks? Somebody said that the plus five volts may not be hooked up on this, or that was something hmm. something else. Anyway, they yeah. all have to have very specific ports and uh, like wired up properly. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, as for Mary's, yes, this type of product was always meant for casual gamers. Yeah. They're just as in lar a large enough install base and let's face with less of us each passing here for this project uh products yeah it isn't for us i fully acknowledge but that but it is for people to play yeah but you know it could be for us if they did a couple different things maybe it's too cost prohibitive to do these things like like they said well, fpga very cost prohibitive the first thing i thought was i thought the price was very reasonable yes for and what it is for what it is you get a joystick so, as well and a game not everyone wants to spend how much eight hundred dollars for an analog pocket or whatever ridiculousness that is yeah yeah so like 300 this something. and this yeah. allows you to play carts that you might have kicking around at home well maybe yeah. but but um that's kind of that's kind of nice you know yeah you can use the original it's carts that you still have around quick so. easy you know yeah show your grandkids kids I, whatever I think the only disappointment will yeah. be somebody um buys this then goes online yeah and buys a cartridge and it doesn't work. and it doesn't work but to their credit atari did post a compatibility yes. list yeah so if you uh buy a cartridge that isn't on the compatibility list that's on you yeah. right so yeah analog's price i still need to set mine up what did the lady say? Eight hundred dollars? No, 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 <laughs> not for this one. It, no, no, not for this. <laughs> not this is one twenty nine euros. Something else, yeah. <laughs> Analog pocket, <laughs> yeah. Um, which you have to wait. And that list a year is still now. being worked on, so you have to yeah, wait that's a year, fair. Year and a, yeah, the, yeah, the list is still being worked, worked on, on, so yeah. hopefully more will be added to the compatibility <laughs> list, which yeah. is great. They made that compatibility yeah. list. Hi. So if you know what you're getting into, um, buying this, mm -hmm. which they list everything out, they tell you up front, then it's great. You know, for a casual gamer who wants to, you know, yeah. have something that looks really cool. Yep. And it looks Very really retro. cool. Very retro. Yep. yep. Um, yep. And Captain Classic said on the forums, said it best with, I would rather have seen an update to the Atari Flashback 2 from 2005, Atari on a chip. Yeah. With HDMI output, SD card support, and fixes for the Star Path and other games that hit the special read-write addresses on the Atari on a chip wasn't designed to play. Yeah, and so that's the ultimate yeah. system. So there you go. Uh, hey. Huge news. Uh, they dropped it without any warning, which Just is out crazy. Just boom, yeah. Here's a new system. Um, so I'm sure people will tear it apart and look at the insides yeah. and look, test all the pins on the yeah. joystick ports. and Ivory yeah. Tower and VVG are already in line for one, so they're already excited for it. I yeah. think it looks so cool, and I think, and like I said, I think the price point is very reasonable for someone who yep. wants to play some of these old games. So, um, so I think all we have yeah, to compare it cute. to 
right now is a Retron 77. Yeah. So comparing the two, it looks like they both have the same kind of cartridge support mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, so that's, that's fairly equal. Mm -hmm. um, they both support more or less. There's some uh, paddle issues with mm -hmm. the Retron. Don't know about this. It, they're selling paddles, so I'm guessing the paddle support is spot on. Um, the Retron 77 is running Stella mm -hmm. and the community has updated it to run all the homebrew and it has an SD card where you can load all the homebrew on it. Yeah. Um, that's one up on this. It is, I don't know the price right now, but it's about $80 for the Retron 77 as opposed to 129 for this. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus for the Retron. Mm -hmm. um, Retron's available right now. <laughs> so that's Fair. a plus for the Retron. Yeah. The plus for the 2600 plus, <laughs> the Super 2600, I don't mm -hmm. know, whatever you want to call it, um, is the aesthetics. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful, yeah. It's got the switches on it. Yeah. Very nice switches. The Retron doesn't have the nice switches on it. Yeah. Yeah, $80 and still available. Yeah. Um, uh, Atari and Dev says the thing to keep in mind, the compatibility is important, but what future games from Atari and homebrew that will come in the future. So they're hoping that it sounds like have more games. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah more, more games are going to be released through yeah. Atari plus, which is, seems to be their, um, like download their, their site? old school side of Atari. Oh, I see. Yes. Um, like I showed you on the right yeah. here yes yes this is all the kind of their old school section nice. atari 2600 plus so they've got that yeah. the controllers um the cartridges but also they sell cartridges in their um atari xp as well i'm not sure why they're separating them out <laughs> so there's cartridges here as well and i'm assuming they're compatible with all of these games yes um i would i would hope so if Very they're nice selling these games. games yeah. Oh, the packaging and packaging is beautiful. Ca cartridges are gorgeous. I mean, they're a hundred dollars, so yeah. they, they should be. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you know, at least they're appearing to trying here. Atari, that is. They they are they are trying. Berserk Enhanced is cool, but I already have the Atari Age version of that too. Yeah. All sold out. Yeah. Yeah. People bought these up. It says sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Very yeah. true, very true. Um, okay, switch away from that. You can see I said full now. So that's um, all I have to say about that. Okay. Oh, no, there's much more news. That was long. Yeah, yeah. that was long, but it's big. It's, <laughs> it's, it's big. Huge, huge. Lots to talk about. Uh, who owns the Atari name out now? Uh, Atari, a company called Atari SA, okay. I believe is the official name for the, the people the, who the own Atari. company, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay, next news. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, Silly Venture happened this weekend um, in Poland, where they released a bunch of new games and demos. Mm. Um, lots of uh, new games and demos were released there, including a new 7800 game mm. um, called Camel Toe. Very strange name. Um, it has uh, none of these games things none of these games have a uh, downloads at the moment so mm. i'm waiting for the downloads um but they've posted videos of them nice some jaguar stuff some jaguar intros demos links demos three links games um wizzy minimal bowling area um uh, minimal and bowling area very very early versions i recognize names yeah oco oco um a tatari vcs uh mm -hmm. Atari 2600 demo. Mm -hmm. um, Atari VCS game. Nice. Um, can't download it yet. Not yet. Um, some Eventually. music that we've kind of shown. Um, mm -hmm. The player, we showed the player for this. Yes, yes. And they said they were going to release some unique, like new music. So mm -hmm. some new music there. Um, Atari 8-bit, uh, two games. Epic Killer Rapids, 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 Battle and Scarb Piratau mm. um, and a bunch of Atari get demos and a bunch of Atari 8-bit games as well. Um, one we're playing tonight. This one is hey! released. A-Doom. A-Doom. This is the only place they call it A-Doom. 
<laughs> and also in the file name, but gotcha. everywhere else they just call it Doom. Doom. Uh, Greedy Bat, Dark City Road, Robot and Minion, a whole bunch of data discs, levels for Montezuma's Revenge, gotcha. but it's called Zenda, Zen, Zendazuma, yeah. and a Tetris game as well. So lots released there, lot not available except mm -hmm. for Doom, which we're playing tonight. Um, speaking of new, Atari Age posted is since the last show two games that are going to be released at PRG. Very nice. Harpy's Curse with a beautiful box. Oh my God. Have a, good, have a fun time watching Ashoka. I yeah. don't know. Uh, Dave, thanks for joining. Thanks for dropping in, yeah. Dave. It was great watching your stream and getting some information about yep. the new Atari uh, 2600 Plus. Um, so Harpy's Curse there. Fun, fun game. We were able to debut that game. Yes, I do remember that was a good game. So Look at that box fun. art. I oh, love gorgeous nice box, box art. art. Um, done by <clears throat> uh, William Thorpe, Bit <clears throat> Jag. Um, it's for the 7800 and it's coming out of PRG. And then, of course, Atari Age Store in November. Very nice. And Millie and oh, Molly. So cute. Great puzzle game uh, by Matt Smith, uh, MK Smith. Nice. Uh, uh, PRG, of course. Very and nice. the uh, artwork comes from the C64 release. So they're oh. able to use uh, already artwork that's out because this is a port of a oh. C64 okay. game. Okay, very, very yep. cool. Um, there is a new album uh, out, all done in dual pokey <laughs> by Poison. And we're listening to some poison tunes off the top of the show. Okay, check this down a little bit. So we'll play that in the background. And poison is just absolutely astounding mm. and music. Um, and he did the music on On Escape, that point and click adventure game. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Oh yeah, that music was great. So good. Really, really good. And so he posted a video uh, promoting his new album. Uh, music is done on a real Atari 8-bit hardware with two pokey chips composed in the native SDCMC editor. Mm. The album contains 15 tracks of approximately 50 minutes in length. There you go. It's called For Eternity. It's amazing chiptune music. So if you wanted, and it was some of his premiere to Silly Venture. Nice. I love the countdown goes down to zero this is actually a video he showed at silly venture oh, that's, okay that's why that's there it's there in the in the promotional material yeah nice and uh it looks like it's like you're watching it on your phone okay. so if you skip ahead it's like oh it's down to 31 percent oh no phone's gonna run out it's just really really cool that's cute yeah oh can you post this link sorry yes i should be posting all these links there you go. So you can check that Very out and nice. listen to the awesome music. And I think he has a link to buy it. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, September 1st. So eight days. I can't believe Already it. September. It really? yep. Oh, my gosh. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. Oh. It got hot. No, it's not hot anymore. Oh. Um, Brian Mather has new book out. Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume Yay! 5. The Kindle version is out right now. He is expecting the physical copies. Oh, there we go. He's already posted it. <laughs> Jumped. <laughs> Jumped quick in there. Physical copies to be ready any moment. Nice. Now. Nice. Oh, cover issues with Amazon. Are they available? Oh, no. That just links back to where I'm on. Where I am. Okay. So, yes, cover issues. That's what he's talking about. He's having issues with the covers oh. for the physical versions. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that um, I re-uploaded prior to the show. So what is it covering? Uh, covers 27 titles spanning 22 years, 1997 to 2019. Mm. Uh, early games like Cubus and Escape from Supercade. Uh, games like Pass Through 2600, Strip Off 2. Came, nice. uh, card games like 21 Blue and even a movie turned into a game for the 2600 Laughing Boy which nice. we've played all of these I believe very nice I don't know about Escape from Supercade I don't think so um, uh, Defender Arcade Vong Atomic Disco a whole bunch of stuff and of course Brian Mathers uh, maintains the most comprehensive Atari 2600 homebrew list it is very exhaustive. exhaustive. I reference it all the time mm -hmm. when I play uh, older games that I don't know much about. Yep. And it has a lot of information. 
and a whole feature of Pac-Man. Did I miss that? Yep. Yeah. And a hack of Pac-Man made for the Atari 2600. And a great cover there. Look at that. Oh, oh no, it went away. Where is it? Ah, uh, what? Oh, it jumped down. There we go. Back to store. It? Back to store. Yeah, but I thought I clicked on it. It was big, and then it went away. Oh. Um, yeah, very cool. It's eating up the last four very <laughs> coffees. Nice. Very self-referential meta. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like it. And forward by Jared Gray West. Very nice. So I watch his videos all the time. Mm -hmm. um, very, very informative. So that's very cool. And I did uh, the forward on one of them. Can't remember which one. First one? Not the forward. Um, the definition of homebrew. Of homebrew. I think it might have been the second one. Or know. was it the Christmas one? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> one of them. Um, so, uh, update for all the developers who won awards in the Atari. Oh my goodness. Uh, fifth, fifth. How uh, long have you been waiting for these? Too long. <laughs> and, uh, so they're all done. All the awards. Yay. Tanya's been working very hard on all oh these awards. Goodness. Um, so here they all are ready to be shipped out to all the developers and people who worked on all the games and won uh, so that i'll be shipping these out this week yay we oh look at them all they're beautiful and shiny let's see if we can pick one out watch sprite start to chew on them now they're all scratched exactly baby <laughs> yeah cats will sleep sleep on them here's the zero page homebrew one there we go. There we go. So they are personalized this year, and this is why we wanted to do them uh, ourselves this year. Well, I didn't do much are of them. They, is the cat Tanya included? did all of them. I did. Uh, cats are not included. <laughs> so Tanya did a great job on these. Yeah. Each of them is very unique. Yes. Because they have all little stars and sparkles. Yes. And they have your name on them. Yes, they do. Um, so these will be. I'll be contacting all the winners. Um, shortly to make sure all their shipping information is still good yes and then uh, shipping them out yes. uh, piece by piece so next year will be much faster it will be because <laughs> i have the molds i know what i'm going to do different next time yeah um and make sure it all, they all come out i had i have i have a bag full of um, rejects rejects so but yeah, yeah yeah i'm excited for next year <laughs> yes because they'll be much faster cats are very interesting uh, yeah, super rare cat hair on them. So yes. maybe you can talk a little bit how you did them? Well, oh, I... well, I have some photos. I could probably show them at some point. Oh, okay. But I basically, we had um, um, a kind of a replica of the shape made a 3D printed from someone. And I created um, silicone molds and they're resin based. Uh, and they just involve a layer of um, black resin um, and then, uh, I have oh, yeah. printed they're black on the back. Yeah. They're black. Um, and then they have Reje actually, rejects really... can go to the runners up. Yeah, exactly. They'll have somebody else's name on them. So. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't um, think you'd like and then that. there's, there's a printed clear transparency that has a gold, um, toner, um, Transfer? Sheet transfer, um, which gives a little bit more detail for the lettering. So the lettering oh. is all gold and it's all individually printed with people's names. There you go. And then that's embedded in clear resin with a few uh, gold sparkles. So. <laughs> so you made them, made them. Yeah, from yeah. scratch yeah. <laughs> made them. Like from a 3D print, I got something yeah. like from scratch. And that's why it took months. <laughs> yeah, because it was a process. Well, like... and you make them and you go, oh, that's not quite right. Okay, start over. I, I, I have a lot of silicone molds once i had yeah. to start over and so um, do you use a vacuum chamber or pressure chamber? no i don't use a pr pressure chamber pouring it's just pouring um a little making sure it's warm enough so it's it is is important and i use a resin um that's like a crystal resin so it's not as thick as other types of resins so they tend not to get as many uh bubbles um, but I mean, the vacuum chambers are usually really necessary if you've got a really intricate mold, but these aren't so bad. So yeah, yeah we outsourced instead of, uh, no, we uh, insourced instead of outsourcing, yeah. um, yeah. because we wanted to do them very special. We wanted them, we wanted to be able to put, to do them personalized. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if it saved money or I don't time. think it did. <laughs> I don't think it did no. in the end. But I think yeah. now that I have the molds and now that I know exactly, I I'm, I would change it a little bit how I made them. Yeah. Um, it's just hard when you've done like 20 to suddenly go, oh, you know what? I should use a different mold. So um, I think next time I know exactly how I would. Azura says oh. resin is expensive. It, it can be. It can be. <laughs> It can't per, be. per mold, it's not that bad. But when you buy it in bulk, jug, it's oh not so bad though. Those jugs. Are if expensive. you buy smaller jugs, it's it's a lot more expensive. So, so yeah. let's get on with the first game. It's yeah. Doom, and this is actually a port of a port. <laughs> um, uh, so this is a port of a Vic Twenty version of Doom. Yeah. And it's been updated. So let's take a look at the Vic Twenty version. So this is Doom on a VIC-20. Oh, wow. And this is like, like when you played it on the on the PC and you had to make the window really small because you had a terrible PC. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Zombie Blob is coming for you. <laughs> Zombie Blob. And it looks like a four color. I do love the face <laughs> and the eyes going back and forth. That's Yeah, awesome. they did that really that, well. That looks really good. VIC-20. So this was... Wow. Um, they were able to do this because it was open source. Okay. Um, so they were able to adapt the VIC-20 source mm -hmm. um, into the Atari 8-bit system. I'm impressed they were run on a VIC-20 as well. There's a lot of ports of Doom on like calculators and just everything. Mm -hmm. and I think like on a birth control or not a birth control, the um, um, pregnancy test. Somebody made a Doom on the pregnancy test on the LEDs. Oh, the LC LCD LCDs screens. The that test. is so funny. Crazy. That is Doom so port funny. seems like a rite of passage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this was first premiered on July 6th, 2023 at Lost Party 2023. Yeah. This build is from yesterday. This is a brand new build. So I thought it would be a good time to do it. So let's get it uh, going. <laughs> Go. Load it up. And this is by Shishkov Zvezhitsky, um, also known as Zvetante. Zvetante? Zvetante. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> um, so there are additional controls. You can play it. I'll, I'll have to assist you. Oh. Because to switch weapons and oh, things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, somebody was suggesting that they make it compatible with adapters that okay. have more buttons on them. Um, hopefully that happens. But so I'll have to, we won't use strafe, but I'll show strafe. Okay. So if you go to the, uh, go to the credits first. I'm terrible at these games, so. Eh, just move and shoot. Doom for the Vic-20, supported by Steve McCree. Atari port by, uh, I already said that, um, <laughs> written to ASM, optimized and fixed, thanks to uh, Atari uh, Area, XXL, Jumbo, Atari Online, TBXX, especially New Generation, All Bit Group, 8 Bit Group, Pazer, Foster, and ID, of course, id. 2023, Zellax. Um, I also have to open the doors for you. Oh. Because that's just fire, the fire button, right? Okay. Um, select the weapons for you, go to the map. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um, do, 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 do. for the feature, this port it, it includes cut down versions of the Dooms level. No? Okay. Go to options. And you're able to affect the music volume. So up that a bit. Because it's quite quiet. There. That's good. Mm -hmm. And go to controls, because that'll show what I just said. Um, it's supported by id software doom which was released lost party 2023 um minus the secret level sergeants demons imps and cat code demons with the ai code cut down from the dune source fist chainsaw pistol shotgun and chains chain gun and pickups such as health keys and ammos mm. corpses exploding barrels secrets and much more li listed below there's 11 music tracks 20 sound effects cheat codes work oh Panning and zooming map, intermission, victory screens, arbitrarily angled textured walls. <laughs> um, so the this newest version, um, so you can jump into it now. Back, down. 
to the bottom. New game. So if you go to a second or third mm. and press the button, this is the shareware version. Okay. So it gives the same thing on the screen that the shareware did on the DOS version. Oh, funny. Act like a man. Order the entire do do trilogy now. After all, you'll probably end up oh, in hell that's eventually. so funny. Shouldn't you know your way around before you uh, make the extended visit? To order Doom, call 1-800-ID-GAMES. Nice. That's Do! Do! Didn't know the Wolfenstein game uh, guy had a name either. Huh. B.J. Blaskowitz from Wolf Wolfenstein. It's the same. So load up the game. I thought it was loading up the Oh, game. you have to do the first one, because that's the only oh. one. <laughs> so you probably want the lowest one. Yeah. Entering hangar. Okay. Uh, changes in this one. All screen and GR10 modes uses nine colors. All sprites like enemies, items converted from Doom's wad. New drawing procedures in graphics mode. Uses Fox DOS for loading levels. This saves a lot of memory. EX example for better textures. What is left to do? Viewfinder or weapon on screen. Uh... And that's the weapon on the screen. I guess not on on the screen. So it's a lot bigger viewport. Transparent enemies and alpha channel and faster sprite drive. So right now you have a gun with 49 bullets. So I'm going to keep up the uh, controls on the screen. Okay, so if you can back... Okay, stay right there. Okay. I'm going sh to show the strafing. So left and right. Oh, there's somebody there. Go get him. Shoot him. Get him in the middle. Get out of the know. pole. There you go. Oh. Got him. Somebody else? No. Careful, don't shoot that barrel. It's right in front nope. of you. You can back off and shoot it, actually. It's a good time to do it. Explosion! Okay, so there's your fist. Pistol. And we don't have any other weapons right now. Let's look at the map first. Wait. Is that where it came from? <laughs> nope, that's where you're going. Yeah. Or maybe it is. Is it? Where... Uh, oh. So there's the map. Oh. You can move around with the joystick. This is everything you've seen. Um, you can zoom in with the fire button. And I can zoom out with the space bar. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, oh, somebody's coming. I can see them. So you've got 93 health. You got the ammo! Yay, more ammo! More ammo! Give me the ammo! I don't know which way I'm going. I always find these games very confusing as far as like... Well, just head down a path and I'll open the doors for you. Well, there's a door. There we go. Shoot! 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 Ah! Oh. Wait for him to open the door. Will he open it? Uh, I guess not. No, he's too dumb. Get up, go up to the door. Oh. Get ready to fire. Ready? Yeah. Fire! Turn! Fire! Turn! Yeah, you can see that they're not transparent. They block out. Pick up the ammo. Oh, health! Back up to 100. You got the med kit. Nice. Definitely a keyboard game. Uh, yeah, I always played um, Wolfenstein with the keyboard. Because it has so many other options. You got the ammo. There he is. Oh. No! Ah, run away! <laughs> I would help you with strafe, but it would probably confuse you more than uh, anything. I don't know if it would help me. Just pretend you're playing Baldur's Gate 3. Why is it? Ugh. Oh, your stuff. 14 ammo. Ugh. 24 ammo now. Keep going. Is that stuff that can uh, kill me? I think it's nothing. Just floor decoration. Sure. Come. Oh, I always hate that. Demons. Imps. I think, you're, ah. I think you're firing more than it's hitting, so I would just kind of slow down on the button because you're wasting ammo. Okay. 
I don't hit those. There's another door. That might be the end of the level. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, health. Yeah, it is the end of the level. Get the health. And turn. There. And press. No, you press it. Yay! Oh, it's got the drippy screen. Very nice. RC70. Oh, James is on the floor. I thought you left. Oh, I'm in the cat cam. <laughs> He's in the cat cam right now. Just look, yeah. look a little bit below Tanya. We can see my head a little bit. <laughs> Kills 85%, items 25%, zero secrets. It says there's no secrets anyway. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Three minutes. Nice. Average is 30. <laughs> there's seconds. A very recognizable yeah. version of the Doom theme. It did, did pretty good. Do you want to play? Uh, no. You get to play a little bit more, then we'll move on. Okay. It's, these games stress me out. <laughs> Shoot the barrel. Stop. Nice. Shoot the other barrel. He's right beside it. No, he's not now. We have no ammo left. Time to how, punch. How? There, you got the ammo now. Okay, back to the gun. You're, you're shooting too much. I know I am. He doesn't go down. Just enough to get the ammo. There you go. Now you got some. There's another guy somewhere. Oh, it stresses me out. <laughs> it stresses me out. It does stress me out. Secrets? No? No secrets? No, it says there's no secrets. Not yet. yet. It only takes like two or three shots. Imp. Not very healthy. <laughs> uh, no. You need some help. Oh. Red key card. Got a key card. Got a key card. I think it's showing the red key card there. Oh, armor. That's good. What happened? What? It's like a door closed on me. Yeah. What? Go back there. Oh, what? Weird. Oh, it's an opening, closing door? Go into it? Nope. What the hell? It's bizarre. Is it a one way? No, that's where you just went through, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, go! Go, 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 go! There you go. Don't back into that again. Is this where you started? I don't know. Oh, it is where you started. Is it? Oh, yeah. I went back? Yep. But how did I get... That's weird. We got turned around, I guess. Huh? Oh, it is where I started. Did it just lead me back to where I was? Oh, maybe that's... Oh, it did! Okay, don't go that way then. There's no other way. Isn't there a door? I don't uh, see any other doors. Is there? Go to the right. Here? Oh, no. To the right. Sorry. There. No? Here? Guess not. Hmm. Maybe it was just a little passageway. Yeah. I haven't memorized the... T oh, check the map. Thank you. Okay, move around. So there's something... Th oh, something... So if you turn around and then go to the left... I'm just wondering if there's a door. Turn around so and go to the left. That's where I came in. Oh. So, nothing here? Nothing here? Hmm. Maybe I have to go back? Maybe, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. So go to the map. Oh, you're being attacked. Ah. No time for maps now. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. Whole new area. Okay. Confuse me. Thank you so much, uh, Double Down. That helped a lot. <laughs> we forgot about the map. 
It's like we look at a bunch of stuff and then instantly forget about it. Yep, that's what happens to me a lot. I mean, it's... it. Oh, oh the bad. bad stuff. Oh, there was a button there. Secret button. Face it. Oh, you're dying. Get out of there. Get out of there. Button didn't seem to do anything. Check the map. Anytime. Okay. Oof. So, straight. Or you can go up there. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Shoot barrel anyway. <laughs> Don't want ammo. ammo. I don't need ammo. The armor's not doing much for you. It should soften it the attack by a third. Hmm. Yeah, the armor is not going down. Interesting. I thought the armor goes down first, and then your health. Like, it takes the force. Yeah. That might be something I need to work on. Uh, okay, show me oh. the map. I think I've looped I think around. there's a door right there. So it's up and to the left. This way. There's a door right beside you. Is that one you've already... Oh. Oh, oh there's a dude. Over. And in there. I think you need to avoid that stuff on the floor. It was killing you in that other area. Can you... Oh. Yeah? What do you want? No. That's the door? Maybe. Is that back to the area I used to be in? Uh, oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to go there. I'm, like, losing health. You must be getting some shots on you. Oh, God. I'm, like, super dead. Oh, there's the end. Or a, or a door. Just run through it. There you go. Please? Oh! Ah! You're gonna die! Oh my god. Four health left. Three health. Oh! Ah. That's okay. That's all right. You gave a good good go on that. Oh, that's fun. It's a, it's a it's a cool little port. It um, is. You can see that it came from another system because it's oh, not obviously not optimized for the Atari the 8 bit. Because we have played Doom like games before. Yes, we have. And the Atari 8 bit. Yeah. Um, but this is because it's from the Vic 20 is why it looks mm. like that. Drippy screen. It's almost done dripping. One yes. more, two more columns. One more column. <laughs> Coke drip. It's almost all covered in blood now. Yep. Cool oh. though. I like that. Yeah. So they they are still working on it. So we'll see what updates they will have in store in the future. Good job, slow Very death. Nice. Yeah. Very slow death. Okay. So on to the next game, which is Hopman by Inufuto. This is mm -hmm. uh, somebody who does games. Yeah. A developer in Japan. 
Mm -hmm. um, so everything he types is in Japanese. I can't remember how I ever found out about this person. Oh, I see. Because you can't read any of it. Yeah, well, if you don't um, understand if Japanese. If you don't understand Japanese. Yes. Um, but he makes games himself mm -hmm. and uses a cross compiler okay. to about 50 different platforms. Oh, and yes. And Atari 8-Bit is one of these platforms. Nice, nice. Um, and 5200, but we play it on the Atari 8-Bit mm -hmm. uh, usually. Um, and he just released one uh, a couple of weeks ago called Hop Man. Mm. Um, it was put out on August 4th as 16K game. Um, and uh, his games are usually little fun things to play. And this one's a platformer. Oh, nice. Uh, that scrolls to the right. Ah. You know, you know, Mario, Super Mario Brothers kind of thing. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Okay, so let's take a look at that um, one. Vitoko asks, which graphics mode is it? It looks like 9. Uh, they said it, they updated it to mode 10. Okay, okay. Uh, using just... 9 colors. Gotcha. Um, GR10 mode, graphics mode, 10. Mm. So there you go. Uh, but it, they might have been using something else before because it says that was a change from last time. Mm. It's one louder <laughs> than nine. Yeah. It goes all the way up to 11. 11. So press the le to the left in the button. There you go. So hop man. Uh, standard. Standard? Yeah. It works on that one. Okay. Um, nice. So the translation of the instructions, which are usually like one line or like five words. This one's a little bit longer. Yeah. It is clear when you reach the goal on the right end, you don't have to take all the flags. His instructions are very short, okay. usually. But you don't need instructions on his games, usually. They're very self-explanatory. Yeah. So, Hopman, you have two lives. You're on stage one. So, obviously, avoid spikes, get flags. That thing takes you up and down. Other games by Inufuto, Ariel, Ascend, Battlelot, Bootskell, Kcorm, Cavit, Cracky, Guntus, Hopman, Im this is Hopman, Impetus, Lift, Maisie, Nuras, Ruptus. He tends to recycle uh, his music though, so this music has been on other games of his. Avoid missing ball for high score. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> cute. Super Very straightforward. Cute. Yeah. And each uh, system, uh, the graphics are a little bit different sometimes, but he uses the same, he, he reuses code, but he does have to alter it slightly for other systems, because you look at the other systems and they're like a bigger play field, a smaller play field, the graphics are a little bit different, different colors. Nice. The goal is a little bit screwed up, but... Um, oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's a cute platformer. Very cute. Not sure what you get bonus for. Oh, it's probably the flags. Oh, that makes sense. Or the time. It might have been the time. I'll have to watch next time. Because you have time counting down, just like in Super Mario Brothers. Flags. Flags. Nice. Oh. But you have to get that flag. Ah! Run! Run away from the ghost! He also recycles his uh, enemies, too. That enemy is in a lot of his other games. Oh. Slippery. Dan says, cute game! It is cute. Double Down says, I would play this! Yes! Yeah, it's, it's right up my alley, too. Platformers. The enemies are mindless. They just do their patrols. If they catch you, they catch you. They're not going to put any any extra effort into it. <laughs> like, uh, if you're in my way, sh I guess I'll have to get you. But I'm not going to go beyond what I'm contractually obligated to, to do, do by the big boss. Smooth horizontal scrolling, scrolling in nice. an 8-bit is always to be admired. Yeah, it is very... Minimum bonus wage patrol time. ghost. It is time? Oh, bonus okay. Is time. But now it's still going bonus. Uh, I don't know what that's from, but 
bonuses Could be time. flags, but you get scores when you, you get, get score when you get the flag. Hmm. It's a cute song. It is a at cute least, song. At least it's a good song that's repeating. Oh, Charles Lynn says, hurry. Oh, were you running out of time last time? Was I? No, I was. I, I still had quite a bit of time. Uh, they're just two weeks from retirement, and they're too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to put in any extra. So you get 100 points for each one. Okay, so I'm going to watch you the time. You get a time little bit of bonus time. for the time. But I, I presume, like most games, run towards the danger. That's where the flags are, so. Yes. Bit iffy. I think you can scroll back. You can. Which sure. Super Mario Brothers did not have. You couldn't scroll oh, back. Oh, I can't get up there though. Uh, not right now. Oh, yeah, I there can do go. that. I think it's pretty forgiving in terms of how you can get to places. Mm -hmm. But you run out of time if you. Oh, yes. So. You have to keep moving. Because you don't know where the end goal is. Can jump higher than the screen. Nice fall for two flags. Oh. Oh. Can I hit it? Ooh, that's a short. Oh, oh no, you can't. <laughs> oh. What the spikes? No, you can't hit the spikes. No. I thought I hit it before. But no. My turn. <laughs> Sorry, it started. We'll pass okay. off on. Be right back. I just need some more water. Okay. Do you need any more water? Uh, I'm pretty full right now. I haven't been drinking it, which I should. The uh, temperature is a lot better in Vancouver now. Oh my goodness, it was very warm. So we had to cancel cancel two shows? At least one show. Last show we had to cancel, it was just too hot. Um, now it's actually it's a nice breeze. Gonna, don't know when they're, where they're gonna turn around, so you have to be quite careful. That, and then that, and then that one. That seems like a good order to get them in. I don't know what optimize. Maybe somebody could do a speed run on this. Collect the spikes for secret bonus. Yeah, that's what you. That's what you tell somebody who's who you want to lose. <laughs> oh, ooh, yeah. Well, I do want those flags. 64 seconds. Ah. Oh I, oh, I didn't jump fast enough. I was too concentrated and like, oh, I can't get those flags. Oh, how am I going to get those flags? Hmm. Jump, jump. Super cute. You do hit your head on the bottom, so you can't pass through levels. Just gonna ignore those flags. Did I mess up by not getting that flag? I did. But I should play for all flags, shouldn't I? And there's not much else to play for. I should play for a high score. Usually I go for levels in games. Either level, so I'm gonna stay high this time, and then go back to the bottom level. Still have 71 seconds, so should I go back? I think I should go back. It'll be a little bit easier to get to the exit because that guy has a very short run area. Hug floating pink pigs for super secret bonus points. Just give them a big old hug. They're lonely. They're very... They, they have to patrol the levels all by themselves. They don't have anybody to hang out with. There's some that are close by. They could probably talk to each other. Ooh, it's getting spikier. It's getting spikier with my... Oh my god, I didn't mean to jump up that far. I bet you have to. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Oh! Stage four. Who knows how many stages there are? <laughs> Probably 10. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go for levels, not flags. So I'm just gonna stay as high up as possible and just go for the levels. 
If flags are in my way, then I will collect the flags. If they're not in my way, then I will not collect the flags. Because you probably get more points. I don't need to do that. More points for time? Not sure. That's a good question. Let's see. 53. Did you get 10 points or 100 points? Well, you get 50 points for each time. It's probably better to go for time. Because it's 100 for the flags? Mm. It's 100 for the flags and 50 points for each. No, it can't be 50 points. I had a lot more left. Difficulty spike? Uh, uh, literally. There was a difficulty spike on level 4. So now I'm just going for... Uh, you don't get the flag bonus points unless you get perfect all flags. Oh! So that's so if you don't get all the flags, you don't get the bonus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, you don't get 50 points for each. I'm trying to figure out the scoring here. Did you start over? Yeah, I did. On level four, there's a lot of spikes. <laughs> there's a whole lot of spikes. Oh, that's where they say a difficulty spike? <laughs> yes, somebody's being very clever. Yeah. Who is nostalgic. being very clever? Nostalgic. Oh, nostalgic. Hi. Hi, clever. Fluffers. You ready for more treats? Oh. Oh, he licks his lips when I say the word treats. <laughs> He's like, mmm, treats. Pavlov's cat. Oh, he knows. He does. Oh, you're not going for all the flags? No, I want to get to higher levels. Your score is very low. <laughs> I don't care about score. Mm -hmm. I very rarely care about score unless, you can go unless back. it's a competition. You can. Yeah. Which is can. cool. Yeah, see the high score? I'm nowhere near it. So flags are huge mm -hmm. scoring. Oh, spiky spikies. Yeah, this one this one's a little bit more challenging actually. Just like if a flag gets in my way, sure, I'll go for it. But I'm just trying to stay. It's Fifty points for every five units of time left. Oh, five units. So ten That's points why. per unit of time. So uh, a flag gives you a hundred. Yeah. That's equivalent to ten seconds of time. So if it's going to take you more than ten seconds to get the flag, yeah. then uh, it's not worth getting that flag. But you get bonus, so... But you have to go for all the flags to get the <laughs> bonus. Minimum flag collector. So you either have to get all the flags. Yeah, minimum yeah. flag. Yeah. All the flags or just just go. Go for one approach or the other. Yeah. You're going to get think, the high score with I the I think flags. you should try to try to get far, and then you should come oh, back and... Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I'll go for... See how many What you can double back are. on. Oh, no, you can double back on a lot of it. Mm, you can. Oh, oh, I try right to be into tricky. The spiky spikes. You don't get any bonus, man. Yeah. Unless it's at 10,000, which. I bet you can get all the flags in the time allotted. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just have to have a perfect route, but. Oh, boy. I'm not getting on this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bit too many spikes for mine. Spiky. Very spiky level. I'm guessing it's just gonna get spikier and smaller platforms as it goes along. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Oh no. Look at these. Going on that moving, moving platform. Oh no! You're losing all the time. Losing all the time. Because it's kinda slippery. There we go. Five flag. Five flag. Five flag. Jump from flag to flag? Is it too far? I'm scared. Very scared. Oh, see? There you go. Yay, goal! Yay! But you have to get all the flags. Say 11 flags equals 1,100 points. That's mm -hmm. a lot of more points. But he just wants to see all the stages. I do. Yeah. Hi, Black Fluffy Cat. Sprite Pants. a little easier. 
here than the last one? Not as many spikes. More accessible flags. Ooh, I wonder if we can do a trick jump. We cannot do a trick jump. No? Ooh, you can't even do that. You have to go oh, around cool. it this way. That's rough. And you have to go on this to get to that. So you just hit your head. And you have Hi. to double back to get that flag. He does come when you call him, you know. Snuggled right up to me. Oh, that's unusual. I was talking with him, and he just he's came like, over. Oh, you're saying my name. He's like, I think treats are coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he heard that word. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't tease you. No. You don't deserve being teased. Good cat. Oh, well, not oh, that good a oh, cat. Oh, oh. Uh, he loves to shred. Um, oh my God, he's <laughs> he's graduated from shredding toilet paper to shredding paper, paper towels. Towel. Did it the other day. Oh, he just loves shredding. There was just just shredded paper towels all over our balcony. I have to lock up the paper towels now. And you ask him, "Oh, did you do this?" And he just looks at you. It wasn't me. Ugh. No. So there was something under me. Yeah, it was me. It was a gray cat. <laughs> yeah, no, right. we know that's not true. We've seen you do it. Digging the music. I'm gonna be dreaming this 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 song. <laughs> Any Fudo's music. Yeah. Ah! Turned around really quick. Didn't go right to the end. Oh boy. Okay. I think just I fall, just fall, fall down. Fall. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Doesn't go to the spike. It's pretty good. Pretty good ma mazes. Not really mazes, but platforms. platforms. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Thread that needle. Oh, you have to go up. You can't even get through there. You have to collect the flags. Well, I guess I could jump from there, but I'm not so good. Maybe. Might as well get those flags. Stage eight. I bet there's ten. He usually does ten stages. Stage eight. Never know. Could have programmed a lot of stages. Your flag is in another castle. <laughs> yes. I like it. It would have been nice if the flags changed colors level to level oh, or something like that. Oh, that would be like nice. But, Red um, flags. Or even the monsters if the colors just changed up. That would be but, an easy. Uh, and then it would also tell you what level you're at. But um, I mean, it says at the top. Yeah. But it does help yeah. to have just different, just a little bit different a little bit platforms, of different, color different colors, or something. you know. But it, it does seem to. Well, stage eight doesn't seem too bad so oh. far. A lot of long. Maybe it's really long. Maybe it's hard to, to meet oh, the time. Oh, they could be going for time this time. Oh, You're doing do it now. Oh. Oh, wow. Very interesting. It wasn't very long. Tons no. of time left. Probably can get a much better score, though. Oh, oh yeah. Way better score. This is the first level again. Stage nine. Mm, Isn't so it? Pages. No, is it? Yeah. Same Maybe pattern. Maybe it's worse. Maybe it's double the length. We'll see. Oh, the time is way down. Oh, the so. time's really short. I don't know uh, if that was the time. Yeah, this is the first level again. You just have to do it really fast. Maybe. It was at 80-something? So we'll see. Yeah. Maybe if the Wait. levels don't change, it just gets... Yeah, less but, and less time? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just die after this because I finished all the levels. See what happens when you hit 10. See if it looks... I mean, it didn't change at all. The only thing it could be is time. Okay, so let's die. Okay. And it was 86, maybe? 115 for level 2. Can you, can you switch pallets, though? Um, Not that I know of. Oh, 95. It probably is the same amount of time. I don't know. I thought it said 85. What was the second level? 110? 115. 115. I think. Let's just... Yeah. Just... Maybe it was...
Yeah, it might just rotate back. I don't know. That's what his games usually do. They don't get harder. They just they just rotate. Re so, repeat. Yep, back to level one. Who would ever need more than four colors? Says baby. Nobody. Nobody needs more than four mm -hmm. colors. Uh, oh, Gamadev says that might be a limitation of the cross-platform framework. Some platforms like the ZX only have four colors. Yeah. Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. But four total or four on the screen? Because that way you could change. You could change it. You could change colors. Level. So it was 115 mm. for the time. So it's, it's the same. It just wraps around. So it it's, just wraps. That's what his games usually do. Gotcha. It's like Hero. After 20, they repeat randomly. Oh, okay. Yeah, random repeat would be good, too. Well, you don't have Oh, I'm just playing until okay. you flip over. Okay, we have one more game to play. It is Oxygen Oxygen B. Or Oxygen, or Oxygen B, because it has an E at the end of Oxygen. So let's take a look at the poll results, actually, before we uh, lose them. Um, so what consoleized alternatives to our original hardware do you find acceptable to play on? Um, system on a chip, 3%. Big boo for that. Uh, software emulation, 6.5%. FPGA, eight, uh, 16%. Well, that's pretty... Or for any of the above. So you kind of have to People just all like of all of it. Yeah. It's like, it's all fine. Yeah. It's all good if it's good. Mm. And 32% original only. So 32% mm. original and then 68 approximately... We'll, we'll, for we'll the rest, work with we'll other work systems. with other systems. Yeah. So yeah, pretty, pretty, not too surprising results, I guess. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a port of another game called Uridium uh, okay. that was released originally on the Commodore 64 in 1986. 86. So we're going to take a look at that Iridium. and probably a lot of people know Recognize this game it? yeah i mean i played it um back in the day i didn't do very well oh it sounds like a commodore 64. <laughs> you can tell by the sound oh yeah but i think i just flew too fast well actually no the enemies fly way too fast in the c64 game they're like Zoo! yeah but you get health in this game okay um and not just a life, which is nice. That's a cool little mini game. Yeah. To pick your bonus. Um, Neat. So you fly around on these ships and you blow up all the stuff on these, these like big ships. So you have to keep going back and forth until yeah. you've gotten it all. Yeah. And there's barriers in your way that yeah. you don't want to fly into because you'll hurt yourself. Like big block barriers, mm. like those up there. Oh, I see. So you have to be kind of careful when you fly. Thankful, but the enemies fly so quick in this. That's why I probably didn't play it very much. But in the Atari 8-bit version, they don't fly quite as fast. Okay. Which is which is good. It's a little bit more uh, reasonable. Uh, so let's load up the Atari 8-bit version of it. I just hate you can't emulate mm. specialized controllers well. Yeah, the original paddle is a huge part of Atari's appeal to me. The emulator just doesn't compare. Mm. Yeah, paddle is so unique to the 2600. It is. And it's such a great controller. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm happy they have the paddle for the um, 2600 plus. Yep. I think that's kind of cool that they've, they've recreated that because I haven't good. seen a system do that. That no. has to be unique to it. Yeah. Is, is there any other systems, consoles, that had a paddle control? Other yeah. than NES had one, but you, it, it had a little mini one that yeah. it's very expensive to buy. And it was for Arkanoid. Yeah. Arkanoid, okay. And the VCS joystick is also a paddle. That is true. Mm. Um, it's the little, it's the controller, but you spin it oh. on the VCS. That one's uncomfortable, though, isn't it? Like, uh, No, we're, that's... that's the Retron 77 you're okay. thinking of okay. with with the uh, Trooper. It was like enclosed a bit. Yeah. No, that was terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Vic 20? Oh, C64. PlayStation. PlayStation had a paddle controller? 
interesting. I'll double down. No. Nope. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> if anyone would know, it would okay. be BBG. So press to the left. All right. And press the button. And we are doing which uh, one? The last one, the NTSC one. Okay. Uh, let me change the cartridges. Channel F. Mm, had a number oh, after, like, yes. Uh, it, it doesn't spin right around, yeah. but it did rotate But I was more in reference to... Like these, em I don't know what you call them, modern emulator systems, oh, or what do you, whatever you want to call it. I have to hold down option when you do it. Sorry. No, it's fine. Go for it. Because it, you have to bypass basic. Gotcha. Like of the new ones that have come out, which ones have included paddles? Oh, I don't know if any of the new mm -hmm. ones really have. No, not really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this game uh, is is a couple years old, but it, we haven't played it on the show. So I wanted to play it. It's part of the ABBUC Software Contest 2020. It came in fourth place with 307 points. First place was the Incredible Last Squadron. So it was up against some tough competition. That got 357 points. Uh, Oxygen BE is a simple horizontal shooter game like Iridium. A uh, completely rewritten version of my old Oxygen game from nice. 1988. Mm -hmm. So originally, this is from 88, this this actual game. Okay. Um, and the developer made it in 1988. Wow. Um, so you can go up to... Oh, I have to do this. We'll probably st stay on easy yeah. and mission one. Okay. And um, yeah, just uh, press the button to start. Your mission number one, level easy, jets to destroy, at, at least, least five. five, enemies to destroy, at least seven, okay. your ship, be aware of your energy, your weapon, open fire, and then land on the ship. At, at the end, you have to land. When? Um, when do after you know to land? After you've done all the destruction. At least five? Okay, and you'll know when it's everything's uh, destroyed? We'll at, you need see. to destroy seven enemies and destroy five jets. Jet, jets are the things that are, I think, landed, not moving. Okay. And then the enemies. So once are you've done five and around, seven, you're, okay. good to land. you're good to land. Why won't those bullets hit the ship? Mm. Uh, Ballyaster arcade at a paddle. So there's a number of them. Okay. So you have to destroy seven of those. Oh, oh. Oh my careful. goodness. Yeah. You have to sh destroy those ships. What? What am I? What am I destroying? You're, you're flying way too fast. Well, I'm, I'm. So, so destroy those. You are moving. So careful when it comes to the ship. Oh. I think. It's hard to tell in open space. Okay. There you go. Oh, I was moving. Yeah. So these big barriers with the huge shadows, that's what you can crash into. You don't yeah. want to do that. See those ships that are landed on the bottom there? What you have ships to shoot are landed? Them. Those oh! Those gray ships, they blend in. Oh my in. goodness. There you go. So that's four you've destroyed. Now five. So you're good. Oh, your ship changed color. Can't this run away is so from hard. You have to go up and down to avoid oh. them. You're on top of something that's killing you. Oh no, it's it's at me. I thought that's what was. This is so hard. <laughs> You're done. No, no, no. But I, I want to see you play for a bit. So. Okay. Yeah. Slow down, Just Maverick. Slow down. <laughs> okay, you have to ah. read them. Okay. Oxygen. Uh, game runs smoothly only on PAL and needs six sixty four. Kilobytes? Oh, your ship didn't change. I hope to bring it also on NTSC systems. Uh, Which it does now. Way. Your mission with your small spacecraft, fly horizontal over a big ship and destroy small jets on runways all over the big ship. Also destroy the enemies in front. The enemies shoot simple single shoots, shots, uh, but they get more angry the more you destroy. The color of the enemies change. Are all... If all the needed jets and enemies are destroyed, land your spacecraft on an empty runway near the end of the big ship. To do so, fly straight forward over the small arrows from the left side. Okay. To make missions not so simple, there exist high buildings on the big ship. See their shadows. Okay. So you watch out for the high buildings with the shadows. Yep. Um... Uh, touching these buildings costs a lot of energy oh, yeah. and can destroy your, your spacecraft. I'm interpreting the uh, the translation is so so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are 10 missions with 10 different ships. If all missions are done, 
wonder if I should just leave get one Get to the ship. next level at mission one. So it loops around, I think it's... I think I should just leave one ship. Yeah. No, they fired just as much. I don't think the rest of it is just how to load up the game. But it's almost pointless killing that lat. Oh, now they recuperate, of course, because I went off the screen. That's what happens. They're very uh, But they don't crash looking. into you, so it's pointless shooting them. Because if you... Oh, is this the landing strip? Oh, there we go. I landed. Oh, wow. Mission one. Success. Time, 56 seconds. Rest, 10. Mm. I rested 10? That's says cool look. Xevious look, yeah. Mm-hmm. 16 destroyed jets, 21 shot enemies, 1 own hits. Own hits? 69 shoot shots, I'm guessing, that I shot. Zero collisions. Move to the next mission. Uh, mission number 2, level easy, jets to destroy 5, enemies to 7, so the same. Go your energy, it's all the same. Same things I have to do. Maybe they'll fly into me this time. What about those red and green? Mm -hmm. Just Ooh. there to look pretty. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're still shooting bunches of shots. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Those were shadow things. It's so hard when you're um, kind of funneled down a corridor. Yeah, and there's not much you can do. No, because. The ships appear if you shoot them all. And if there's even one left... Oh, my God. Oh. Ah, oh, dead! And if there's... You lose. Oh, still a mission two. Okay. Um, and if there's even one left, they fire with just as much firepower as if there was four. So it's almost pointless shooting them, other than the fact that you have to, because it's your mission. <laughs> it's to shoot seven of them, or five, whatever it is. You end up shooting them pretty quick. Ah, no! And if you speed up, the bullets come faster. It's very funny. It's like using defender rules. See? If I run away from the yeah. bullets, they actually speed up. So you should, like, go as slow as possible. Oh. Oh, the bullets are bad. Oh, the bullets expand out, too. So the closer you are to them... There's no time limit, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're always at a relative distance to them, so they're always... Oh, that's true! ...that wide when they get to you. Own hits might be you ran into your own bullet, maybe. Uh, uh, it looks maybe. like that two players are used for the ship, one for the shadow and one for the column of uh, enemies. One missile for your shots and another for the enemy's shots. Don't shoot me. <laughs> time, 1 minute 12, rest, 0. Not sure what that rest means. Uh, yeah, two own hits. That means I died twice, maybe. Oh, One maybe. Collisions. Yeah, that's I did. possible. Uh, mission number three: only two jets I have to destroy, mm. and seven enemies. That's weird. It's not going up. It's probably harder to get. There's probably fewer enemies, oh, or fewer maybe. jets, and more enemies. That could be it. Oh, one just destroyed itself. <laughs> Self-combusted as soon as it came on the screen. Ah! Never run away from the bullet. Ever. No. Just just go you at a nice, lose. steady pace. And the bullets will be steady. Ah! See? Ah! Don't run away! Slow down even more. Nice. And that's about a good speed. Right, right there. Avoid the columns. Shoot the baddies. Wait for the runway. Ah! Uh, well, you can avoid it by going super tiny. Like if you squish yourself up. Oh! oh they that can was shoot you cheap. while landing. Cheap. Cheap shot. Cheap. <laughs> Three and eight. Hmm, okay. Hello, it's Kev. Hey, it's Kev. Don't even have to say, hey, it's Kev. Hey. <laughs> oh, you self-destructed again. <laughs> okay, I think you are at a standstill. Sort of. Great shirt, James. Oh, I love this shirt. Thank you so much. Um, oh, don't shoot at me. 
I'm vulnerable. Ah! <gasps> oh my god! Dead ends. Oh no! Go being... And you have to fly like this. <gasps> How do you not get shot? Oh my god! You can fly between the bullets. Oh, by t by tilting. But it's so hard because you'd have to time it. Oh my god! This level is. Like dying at the end of a burger time level when the last bun is bouncing <laughs> down. Yes. yes. Uh... Cheap. So cheap. Or like a cat using their tail to take you out of um, rest and to start the timer and then lose on level, what was it, 13? <laughs> what game are you talking about? When you were playing and Atari's oh, tail knocked, knocked the um, controller and we oh, were chatting and it, it, the time hadn't started and then Atari's tail hit the uh, controller and That's the time right. started and you lost. On um, Alien Invasion. Yeah. Oh, it's very funny. YouTube is flagging those... Um, videos because of oh yes it because is of funny. The, the words alien invasion and they think they have to give a little disclaimer not even a disclaimer it just gives a definition of what an alien invasion is it's like this it's the weirdest thing yeah it's not saying aliens are fake it's yeah. not saying alien invasions are fake it's just giving oh alien abduction it's just saying what an alien abduction is not that it doesn't happen or anything. it's so weird it's yeah, right from it's, wikipedia yeah and it's like it's a video game you're not talking about alien abductions uh this is for the atari 8-bit system 8-bit computer and it's uh it's interesting it's 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 getting a little harder with like ship mazes see look at that what is this oh my god Yeah, it's getting, the ships are getting harder. The missions are not really that hard to finish. Like, can I land here? No. Probably on a, a stretch where there's no destroyed planes. 70 says, YouTube needs to get out of the business of flagging stuff. It's so dumb. Yeah. Unfortunately, people are pretty dumb sometimes so, too, but... Yeah, you kind of uh, have to find a it's, happy it, There medium. is a balance there somewhere. It's like, we understand that you're dumb. Yeah. And you believe everything you read and yeah. see and hear. Yeah. So we kind of have to tell you that... Uh, oh, come on. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That uh, not everything you read and but see... But as RC70 yeah. says, yeah, but they're going to be dumb anyway. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's the, true. Th yeah, the fact is they'll see that A disclaimer or whatever and go, <gasps> they're trying to oppress me and mm. keep down the real information. It's like... Mm, mm, no, no. It's not necessarily... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, know your source, research, get some backup information from credible, exactly. credible sources, credible scientifically yeah. tested sources, first-hand knowledge, and uh, oh, 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 can't ah! How do you how do you avoid that? Oh, you no. have to fly between the bullets. Maybe. That's super hard. Okay. Fly between the... You can't. You can't fly between the bullets. Because you're moving just as fast. Like you... Oh my god. Like, I've destroyed enough things now. I just have, have to survive. You? Oh, you just so, have to... Because the, the amount of things you have to destroy on easy mm. is quite low. I'm sure it's much, much higher on hard, which we'll do next. See, I can probably land now. It's yeah. kind of like when you're when they give okay. the flags on movies, like contains nudity <laughs> or smoking. violence or, or smoking is the one that kills me. But never <sighs> drinking, never drinking. Yeah, that's true. Like we're watching that cartoon and they drink excessively on yeah, the show. Yeah, and there's no warning like, for that. A, I interesting. Out? It's interesting. Oh no. I just kind of laugh oh. and it goes it contains work? nudity and you're like really. <laughs> Nudity. What what kind of nudity? And then you're like, where's the nudity? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Did I miss How it? nude are we talking here? <laughs> uh, it's very funny. Yeah. But we're adults. So it's people who are who have have to like monitor children. I understand. Those are helpful. Th those are helpful, but it's pretty funny. So I'm gonna do it on extremely difficult, whatever that is. Mm and uh, see how much more difficult it is, like how many ships I have to shoot down, and 
can't get everybody hopes up like that. Yeah. I know when you when you say nudity, I mean You better deliver. <laughs> you better deliver. <laughs> Not some half second. Uh, yeah. I always love it when it's like contains excessive gore or like they're excessive, really like yeah, very specific. really 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 detailed like warnings and you're just like now I'm intrigued. <laughs> What what do you consider excessive? God mode? Okay. God mode oh, seems God. to be the higher. Suicide God mode. And we'll start with mission one. Okay. Kin? Really? <laughs> oh, I love it. He's you like, too. this is my spot, it's warm. Okay, and okay. treats might fall from the sky. There you go. There you go. Mission one. Oh no, just to destroy five enemies, four. So it must be harder to play. Like, they must be shooting more. Maybe, Maybe they're moving this time, yeah. because Iridium, they were moving. Mm. This is a different game. It's mm. not Iridium. But. It amazes me when anime shows it list as TVMA because of cartoon nudity. Yeah. Cartoon. And that uh, more than 3.5 buckets is excessive level one. <laughs> yeah. Buckets? Excessive gore. Excessive oh. gore. Is it measured in buckets? Buckets of blood. Is it, like, uh... This doesn't seem to be harder. Like god mode? Oh, god mode might be like, oh, you can't get killed. Because that's that's what god mode is defined true. as in a lot of games. That's true. Maybe it is. So. Maybe it's oh, Nutella yep. mode. It's Nutella oh, mode. It's Nutella mode. Oh, is it? No, it's going down. No, it's not. Oh, what the hell? Nope. No. Nothing's going down. Oh, Just that... run into all of the... Oh, it is going down. Is this it? is not as hard. Oh, it's pretty easy. Okay, God mode is. How do it's I the exit? opposite. I couldn't exit That's out of this question. game. There, did that work? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do one before God mode. That that has to be hard. You're not allowed to say that word on YouTube. <laughs> True. You get flagged. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, that is definitely harder. See that? Oh, yeah. maybe not. Oh, there's no... Is this S mode, you were saying? S mode. Okay. Uh, oh, my... my, my... Yeah, oh, you're dead. dead. Wow. Does hit a lot harder when... Uh, um... I learned that Nutella mode uh, from um, some of the Brazilians, because apparently that's what they would call the kids' modes, was Nutella mode. Kids and I, it Nutella? just stuck. I love it. Nutella mode is fantastic. Look at the amount of energy you start with. It was like almost less than half. And it goes down, even when you're not getting hit. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay, I'm going to try and complete level one. Yeah. Don't know if I can. Okay, I have to move because my energy goes down regardless. Okay, I think I've shot enough ships. Now I just have to make it to the end without being... Hit! No! Mama's dead! <laughs> I got hit once. No! <gasps> and again. Oh, how hard. You can get hard. hit like twice. How hard. Uh, we have teddy bear mode. Teddy bear mode. Apparently there was a teddy bear on the Nutella jars, so they call it Nutella Oh, mode. is that why? Something like that. Because I don't know, but I just like Nutella mode. Because some Atari games had a little bear that oh, you could select for kids okay. mode. That's so that's where, what it was. That's it was where Nutella that came mode. From. But they associated with Nutella. Nice. Well, I think I know how that to, makes sense. to avoid the bullets. You have to kind of... Atari started that. The bear? The bear mode, yeah. Anyway, I like Nutella mode. I, I uh, also makes me hungry. <laughs> oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost <laughs> no. dead. The energy no. is so low. No. No. I need no. to get to a landing spot. Oh, this is going to be impossible. Okay, there we go. I did it. Ah! No! Ah, it's so hard. So can you wrap around to the ship to the left? Ah! I wonder. This little bear, he's a vicious mean bear. I'm also playing with his hind legs. He's not No, you can't. You can't wrap around to no. the... No. Oh, what did you do? I just touched a column. Oh, no. I might as well just die. I can't. Oh, it's hard. It's so hard. It is the hardest mode. I don't think it's impossible. You just cannot touch or get Anything. hit. Anything. You have to do it perfectly. Yeah. What is what is shooting that? There's nothing left on the screen. <gasps> oh, there's nothing left. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, they've disappeared. It's, it's a glitch. Up. Glitch, glitch, glitch. Ah! No! Don't die! There's 
It's like uh, they forgot to um, draw the... Uh, oh! Uh, they did forget to draw Oh, them. and they came back. Oh, how weird. When you turn around, they go, go on to the left. Yeah, but they never came from... Oh, interesting. Yeah, a bit of bug there. Predator mode. Ghost fighters in the sky. Oh, I like that. Oh, predator mode would, would be fun. Oh, that would be. Another... Uh, that is a movie franchise I've never seen. I've seen any of the pr uh, I've Predator... Seen I've seen one. Alien. I haven't seen any of the Predator films, or the, the Alien the, versus Predator the films. The premise is incredible. Yeah. Um, is an alien race, and all they do is hunt, hunt for, for fun. sport, yeah. And they think aliens and humans are great fun. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the comics were astounding. Were they? Yeah. yeah. I, I collected those comics. Um, but I don't know if I ever watched any of the films. I really? I've seen the first one. Ah. Because uh, they were talking about it on Red Letter Media, right? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. About franchises. We were talking about Robocop recently, yeah. Good second episodes. Yeah. Ah! And they liked Predator 2. Mm. You mean Alien 2? Uh, was that no, good no, no. or bad? Alien was good. Aliens is amazing. Aliens, yeah, that's what I meant. Aliens. Oh, yeah. Aliens, yeah. And they referenced Aliens as um, yeah. as a good sequel. Yeah. And, um, of course, Empire Strikes Back and... Mike, it's, it's, Mike also loved uh, Temple of Doom, which is part good and part cheesy. Yeah. The Prey movie is pretty good. Yeah, I've heard that. It's um, set hundreds of years ago, and um, Predators oh, come to Earth. Oh, yeah. And so it's not, it, they fight them off using, you know, different time, types of weapons, yeah. right? And it's like a, a First Nations tribe. Yes. Yeah. Great premise. Um, so I thought it would be good when I yeah. saw the trailer. It's like, oh, this could be good. Yeah, I think it did get well. decent, decent reviews. So, yeah, yeah, that's one. Oh I, my god! I'm not someone who, away. yeah, I'm not someone who leans in on horror all that much. That's not a genre I it's love. But if it's action. good, well, like horror or horror action. Okay. If it's good, I'll see it. But I'm not like, oh, I need to see the latest. You know. It probably is. Would shoot be, em up film. <sighs> <laughs> would be defined as like gory action or yeah. bloody action. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. It's brutal. Alien vs. Predator games for Jaguar is quite good. Mm. Ah, that kind of falls in the first person perspective, mm. early 3D games, mm. which I don't really love. BVG says Jag game is way better than the movies. <laughs> really? Wow. It shoots where you are. So if you're at the top, it shoots at the top. So if you time it... Ah! You can fly through things. So see, it, it'll shoot at the top. But you barely have enough time to dodge it. Well, depends how fast you're flying. I love playing it on the PC back in the day. The movies kind of suck. <laughs> oh, no. Specifically the AVP ah. movies. So VVG says oh. that the Jag game is better than oh. the AVP. Oh, I see that one. Yeah. Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. yeah. I think I was a big wuss in the 80s. Uh, I didn't like really bloody, bloody or scary films, so I tended to avoid them. A lot of those in the 80s. Oh, so many. I was like the bread and butter. I know, and it was not my thing, so. I watched, I saw a few things. I like the Terminator films. Oh, nice. um, You saw Aliens? Nope. An alien? No? Too nope. Scary. I saw that with you for the first time. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know that. I don't think yeah. you said that to me. I'm I'm not a horror movie person at all, so Yeah. Yeah. The first Alien and Predator movies were among the best movies. Yeah, that like the actual Alien and Predator. Predator. I've heard Predator's very good. I just I don't think I've seen it. Oh well, well, I can't um, shoot these ships. Oh my god, why? Yeah. Why? No. <laughs> it's pointless shooting the ships. I'm not gonna even but I, but I have to shoot the stuff on the ships, so might as well keep it firing. If you just keep one alive, you only have one to track. And does 
it do all the shooting? It does. It does. Oh, so I should just keep one alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nostalgic. I still don't like blending gore. You can ask an older adult. Not old. Older. Older. <laughs> okay, it does shoot. <gasps> That's uh, going to be so much easier. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, as long as I don't shoot it. I'm not a blooding gore person, definitely. But if it's if it's serves a purpose in a film, I can I can watch it. It's not terrible. Ah, I reset it. I can't turn around. Um, if it serves a purpose, yeah. If it serves a purpose, like some things are supposed to be shocking, I'm okay with Damn that. Damn it. Um, yeah, Excellent. they come turn back. Around. Uh, but it's not okay. something I choose. No. Right, you wouldn't go out of your way. No. One guy left. Damn no. it! <laughs> Why do I do that? I don't know. They do bounce. Oh no, they do bounce across each other. And like when it comes to scary films, I prefer uh, right into it. Wasn't looking. It yeah. resets too fast. Uh, scary films, I prefer like more like ghost films or psychological horror yeah, over me too. physical horror. But Why did that one? <laughs> destroy itself there's no blood and gore like 80s blend gore no cgi blood spider will match what they did in the yes. in 1982's the thing oh that yes. okay that film that's an exception that that's film, a psychological horror it's film. a psychological horror film it is gory but it's fantastic and it builds up so perfectly just this yes who's the, the alien who's Who? the alien and and all the suspicion and um, different parts of and then the... when they do it it's practical effects which i feel is oh vastly superior vastly superior um oh yeah i do have a tactic the thing is now that's so working good. oh yeah when, and we did do one of my top films um a john carpenter film festival which was a big and let me tell bag. you <laughs> there's a lot of bad there's a lot of stinkers in that that filmography but some very good films so Okay, let's do it. But his music is always fantastic. Oh, great music. Yeah. Always, always fantastic. <gasps> oh, stop being stupid. Poltergeist used to terrify my sister when we were kids. That's yeah. a very scary film. It's not for kids. <laughs> Dan ABC, I loved at the end of Spaceballs with the alien coming out of the guy doing a dance. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> yeah, Spaceballs is good. I really enjoy Spaceballs. Good comedy. We tried to watch the new Mel Brooks, History of the World Part 2. It was very bland. Mm. Very bland jokes. Which I was very... Which, up, which was upsetting. So I was yeah. looking forward to it. It's like, oh my god, look at the people in the film. Yeah. Of course, anybody would be in a Mel Brooks film. Of course. Like the chances of that happening now is very little, so... <sighs> oh no, not again. <laughs> no! Because when there's. Why are you self destructing? Also, any film with John Candy in it is gonna do. Yeah. Um, Big Trouble in Little China is Carpenter's and Russell's greatest collaboration. That is the most crazy film ever. We saw it. Did we see it for the first yeah, time? Yeah, I'd never well, seen that film. We, we watched it during the film marathon. I'm like, this is insane, but also really good. It, it's just so... So bizarre. Bizarre and unique and... Uh, I can fly between them. It's, it, yeah. Like, it's so unique. It is so unique, that film. <laughs> Uh, I have no energy. I don't I think got hit PG yet. 13 existed back then. No, Big Trouble is glorious, says, yeah, Chelsea Dony Mouse. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I can't fly that slow. Oh, my God. So hard, this game on um, S mode. Okay. Uh, why did you die? What happened? What? Oh. Yeah, Gamma Okay, didn't... I give up. Most, yeah. <laughs> Gamada says that uh, most people didn't get the joke that Russell is the sidekick who thinks he's the hero. That's yes. exactly it. Yeah, we watched him when Kurt Russell does nothing in this film. No. Like, absolutely and that, nothing. And that is the joke. Yeah. He's completely incompetent. But and it's making he's... fun of the American hero. Yeah. That whole film is making fun of the concept of the American hero. Like, the person who comes yeah. in and swoops in. But he thinks he's awesome. And he swoops in and everything's already done. 
yeah. he gets knocked in the head so many times with things. It is hilarious. And date James Hong as well. It's, oh, James Hong's so good. It's just, it's just so good. It's like, and so tongue in cheek. It's just so good. Yeah. Never, I'm very surprised. I'm surprised you haven't seen it because you had, you loved martial arts it, films. I did. It just, it was before my love of martial arts films. Yeah. And it looked really cheesy, I think, when it yes. did come out. And it was intentionally it was. cheesy, yeah. It was very intentionally yeah. cheesy. Yeah, RC70. I watched that movie a thousand. thousand times. I wish I had seen it. As a kid, I would have loved it even more because yeah. yeah. it's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you have no idea what's coming next in that film. Yeah. It does hold up. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's cool about not seeing a film in the 80s or 90s mm -hmm. and then watching it now and going, this is amazing <laughs> or oh this is bad yeah bad bad but no that one was that one was a highlight oh yeah it was very good yeah uh okay that's the third game uh we played doom pretty good implementation of doom for the low resolution mm -hmm. and what they're working with and what they ported hot man fun platformer um it would be fun to try and go for the flags and do a perfect run of hot man mm-hmm and uh oxygen oxygen gene Ox oxygen, oxygen be yeah um pretty, pretty good shooter european yeah it, it goes from very easy to very <laughs> hard <laughs> so i probably should have picked something in between those mm -hmm. um yeah really really good uh great lineup of games today but tomorrow not tomorrow friday friday uh we have the exclusive final build of Mario Brothers for the Atari 7800. Yes. Old style, he's done. Nice. He's finished Mario Brothers. Nice. And uh, he, we're going to have the premiere of the final build. And then after that, he's going to put out a version for the public to play. And that's the first time he has not put out a demo before of the game mm. of Mario Brothers. So that's... Barrio Brothers, Barrio Mothers, yes. Barrio Mothers. Thanks, Dan. Um, and I might include another game in there, but I might go hard on Mario Brothers um, mm. because there's a lot of levels and a lot of things that you can do, and it's a two-player game. So you might just delve right into Mario Brothers mm. and just go there. Unless some other 7800 game pops up, and I don't know if any have been released in the past little bit that I will include, but I'll, I'll take a look. Luigi Brothers. Uh, that's still a name. You probably need to change Luigi. Uh, G Gianna Brothers, the great Gianna oh, sisters. Oh, yes, yes. Was not good enough. Like, really? Nintendo won against, or or they sent a cease and desist and they got they rid of it. it. I don't wow. think they sued them, mm -hmm. but they said, get rid of it. Wow. And that wow. was based on Mario, um, Super Mario Brothers, not Mario Brothers. Oh. Um, they had kind of the same level layout-ish, and oh, there was no, power-ups, but everything yeah. looked... The graphics were completely different. Yeah. The name was different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, we're also going to have a light gun special. Um, uh, there's After Darks coming up for the 2023 Atari Homebrew High Score Contest, uh, Burning the Tower of Doom, and oh, nice. RT. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. I don't know what day that is. I haven't put the... You put a date there, but... Times yet, so I don't know oh, if I you're see. on that day or not. Okay. Um, in October, we're going to have play through the ABBUC 2023 nice. contest entries. Yep. Um, then the next round of the Atari 2023 Atari Homebrew High Score Contest, which is Dragon's Havoc. In 1942, that's going to be a very fun day. Uh, then we're going to be in Portland for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We're going to be doing some it's live. Coming so fast. Yeah, it in really is. A month and a half. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we're going to do some live broadcasts from there. So come say hi and yeah. see if we're broadcasting and yeah. uh, get you streaming if you want. And we'll say this is so and so. <laughs> this is Steve Ramirez because he says he's pretty much going to go. He's got everything booked, so barring anything, should be there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have four-player special day sometime in October, probably. October? Okay. Yeah, when it cools down. It's a nice day today. Uh, of course, the Halloween homebrew special. Try and dig up some probably Atari 8-bit games this time. Okay. We've exhausted the 2600 and 7800, and I think Lynx as well and jaguar <laughs> so we have to go all in on the 8-bit so i'll have to look for some 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 
suggestions that are spooky ones. Uh, homebrew, though. Has to be homebrew. I don't... Is Gremlins... Gremlins? Not homebrew. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, we do we do homebrew. Or hacks. So if there's a yeah. Gremlins hack. I don't know. Um, and then in November, Atari Jaguar's 30th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown, where we play original Jaguar games in celebration of its 30th birthday. Mm. So we get a little bit of uh, knowledge about the Jaguar, because um, we haven't played a lot of the Jaguar Sounds original fun. games. Yeah. Uh, and then Atari Homebrew Holiday Homebrew Special well, in late getting, December. Getting really off into the future, but yep. yeah. Yep, line it all up. Nice. Um, elevator agent sometime mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. from Champ Games. We'll do some updates on that. Seven eight hundred game drive special, live interview with Saint, ColecoVision special. Um, also going to do an Atari eight bit online gaming mm. show because there's a bunch of online games we can play with the Fuji Net, nice. uh, including uh, poker. Oh. So we can play with other people that watch the show. Oh. That'll be fun. That will be fun. I um, like it. I like it. Oh. Did Gremlins get a re officially released for 8-bit? Might be an 8-bit homebrew conversion. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Elevator Agent is great. It's so good. Plumber. Plumber plumber siblings. Yeah. yeah. You have to change all the graphics. You'd have to change the name. Yeah. You'd have to change the way it works. And that's pretty hard to change the way it works with Mario Brothers. Because it's a single screen. You'd have to... And if you're going with Plumber, they're still going to come out of pipes, yeah. which is too close. You'd have to what change else? the layout of the platforms. Lose the PAL box. You'd have to change it to a dynamite box, maybe. <laughs> or not even have it. Yeah. I never use the PAL anyway. Maybe on later levels it's pretty useful yeah. when there's a lot of things coming out. But... Um, we tried to do alien abduction and hero patches. I got really close yeah. on alien abduction. I made it to level 20, the last level. Oh my God. I was so close. I, I know I can do it. Four players poker. The other three will see your cards. <gasps> they will. You know what I'll have to do? That's I can put a blank. True. I can put a blank out for the stream. Like put it over it like a, a square and just put a, a black square over the area where our cards are. Well, we can still see it on the screen, but they won't be able to see our cards when we're broadcasting so they can't cheat against our cards. That's the only way we can do it. Yeah, that's interesting. Right? So that's totally possible. Just put a, a block, you know, how they put it over the people's faces or eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's well. There's there's a delay to the stream, so probably uh, it's wins. not enough. No, like the hand goes on for minutes, right? Oh, As people true. bet and get an extra card, and true. yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Thank you, Vitoko. Good observation. We probably would have figured that out pretty quickly. Pretty quick, <laughs> but then I'd have to do it in real time and make a box, which is not no. hard. But yeah, that is fun. but that's that a good point. Fair. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so true. lots of great shows coming up. Lots of special shows. Um, I've collected all the light gun games. So we can do that pretty soon. Yeah. And somebody said we don't have to film the monitor that we're shooting at. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a way to digitally... Because we just split it. Do an HDMI split. Yes. And then one goes to the monitor. We'll yeah. have to convert it back from yeah. non-HDMI, possibly. Um, but it's going to be multiple platforms. It's going to be 2600, 7800, and Atari 8-bit. Yes. Which is not too bad. Okay. Probably, like, start with one and then swap it out and have the other one ready to go. Yeah. Surely no one would cheat and look no, at your cards. Never, no, never. Never when you're streaming your cards online. Yeah. yeah. Um, but thank you for hanging out with us. Remember Friday? Yep. With? With who? Erlen? I'll have to confirm that. I think it's Erlen. Pretty sure. We've been not doing Fridays for a couple weeks. Because people have been busy. Because it's been summer, the vacations, I and it's hot. I think it's Erlen, because I, I think it was Erlen. supposed to be Darcy, but he couldn't come, right? Last week. Last yes. week. I think it's Erlen this week. Yeah. So, thank you for hanging out with us. Nostalgic, Double Down, Vitoko, it's Kev, Chalstani Mao, Prow7, Chitlitla, Gamma Dev. It's Kev. 
Um, uh, oh, same names, same chatters. Nostalgic. Oh my goodness, same people. Uh, Dan ABC. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Up the chat, up the chat. Charles Wieland. Oh, what is this? Anthony Beef Helms? Supreme 07. Nice. Uh, Anthony Nelms. Azure. Oh, here's Carl all the G. names. How do we miss all these oh, people? Cubanismo. Why did... Oh, my God. What I think that's, that didn't actually happen. Okay. <laughs> There's like... Some massive Multiple repeat. pages of Cubanismo saying, are you saying your pizza is about to be free? Yeah. I think there's a glitch. Render <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ghost. Render Ghost. Ivory Tower Collection. Old, old style. style. Wow, everyone's lurking oh, old today. Old style. We're playing your game on Friday. Yay. Can't wait. Render Ghost. Oh, and I put a new uh, graphic in. <gasps> Which one? Uh, it is the catnip graphic. Oh my goodness. There's a little kitty eating the catnip. <laughs> He's chewing on some catnip leaves. It's not dried catnip. And his eyes are a bit wonky. It, it oh, is small. Cute. It's very small. But very cute. I don't know if I can make it bigger. There you go. Ah, uh, very He's cute. He's a happy cat. So if anybody didn't see that, um, you can. You can there you yeah, go. Yeah, woo! So. <laughs> so. Anytime these cats get their catnip, you can. Uh, put that on the screen oh there we go Everybody's doing it. um all the subscribers that's right i don't think it is a is it a, i think they're subscriber oh, specific it is might be yeah. subscriber specific yes need some kind of animated one yeah I, we don't have yeah. any animated ones that would be a good because i think you can make mm. ones and then apply an animation on top yes. rather than animate yeah. it yourself of course you need you can animate it yourself as well yeah uh Ooh, cool. we're done yeah uh lots of uh fun in the show yeah lots of news good games lots yeah. of news and it's great to have um somebody from atari here to fill in the blanks yeah um david yeah. page david. yeah yeah thank That's you excellent. to him for coming in yeah and uh, for him doing the stream earlier today for me so to you get could extra watch information him. yeah yeah which is yeah. excellent yeah Good um, so if anybody bought that, I'll be very interested uh, to see and they're, what and they're the 2600 like plus. It. Yeah, and if they've shoved every single cartridge they have into it, well, <laughs> yes. that's it's not coming till November. Right? Yeah, Ivory Tower Collections bought it, so I'm sure he will be uh, putting it through its tests. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll see you on Friday okay. early show. Um, so I'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah, week. she'll be back yeah. on Tuesday. Cats yes. will be here. Cats will always be here. Yeah. So we'll see you then. All right. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.